Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity Part 1 of Session 48. It's the 6th of April 2020. I'm Ryan the GM. Didn't forget what I was saying. Here are the players. Hello. I'm first again. Yes. And I'm also Nico. Plains order. Best cap. Hi. I'm Colin. And today... I'll be uh, having a cold one in honour of Drew McIntyre, who fought bravely Move along. representing his Move country and was victorious Shit. over Brock Lesnar. Um, is he the greatest son of air ever? Uh, he might be. He's very large. He's extremely big, so it's possible. Um, like your a great son of air. Um... Well done, Victor. Anyway, hi, I'm Colin. I play Lyco Quinn. I'm your space cop, but retired and also dead. <laughs> Drew's a funny. Shut up. <laughs> Fucking Ouija. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry. <laughs> why? Hello. <laughs> hello. Yes, why? That is the correct response to hello. In this day and age. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, hello, I am Alex, and I will be playing Zig the Mystical Space Rat. Why? Why'd you do this to me? This is like Hi I'm... there! I'm Callum. <laughs> this week, I'll be playing Weird, the the, the really cool, crazy thing. Don't let Zig go. Cassafin, Android. Cassafin, mechanic. Android. <laughs> Gun mage. <laughs> Uh, so the droid course. man. <laughs> so the droid uh, army. <laughs> so we're gonna rewind. To Alex. No, 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 right. If you don't know who we are by now, in the first many episodes, I don't know. So Alex. If we have to do that again, I'm just going to go to Scotland. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing next five. The mystical android rat <laughs> from prison. Hi there. Somehow it's wrong. I'm playing. I'm playing Zig, the weird son, the the the, the android. The son of weird. The, the son of weird. <laughs> the android space kitten. This is not the boat. I think like you'll the find the attacking. android space kitten is a Alice. I'll have you know. Oh, oh no, dear. we don't have that sort of relationship yet. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure this is the Walking Files episode. We go to like the, the other universe. Well, do you know what? Those at home who are somehow listening, I tried, right? I tried. With he did. That... I'm almost sorry. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to uh... go list the our, our separate goal system of be gay, do crimes, be crime, do gays, do gays, crime, be <laughs> dos crime, be gay. <laughs> Do Graham ye cab? Gay crime bay. My favourite. Uh, be do grey see What the fuck have you done to me? I just typed in the letters DR into Google and it came up with Drew McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> like, that think, was the first thing in there. I think really what he's saying is uh, how dare you be on Google. That's what he's really meaning. Um, for Dr. Doctor, <sighs> Doctor McIntyre. Um, Anyway, what did you remember from last time? Oh, so fuck all of you. That's the that's, that's <laughs> <for Pratt. laughs> uh, I remember some sort of sex pest dribbling in front of me. Um, and, yeah, but we're uh, the game. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you talking my cat in that way? Uh, I, <laughs> well, you shouldn't have called it sex pest then. We didn't name him. just sort of turned up. Um, <laughs> like most <laughs> sex pests, <laughs> and introduce himself <laughs> as sex pests. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, I've got a cat now. I love cats, but I've never bought one. Um, uh, sex pest, for sure, man. Anyway, uh, that was yeah, such a politician's was, answer. They're calling it was a. I love hookers, but I've never paid for one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never paid for a hooker, but I have slept with someone who later became a hooker. So that's a story you can tell to your grandchildren. There you go. Uh, 
Oh, so hi out to <laughs> hi out, yeah, shout out, hi out, whatever to uh, Colin's grandkids, I guess. Uh, I'm yes, sorry you had to go this bad. <laughs> he, he was, was this bad. By my <laughs> oh man, that's true. Actually, anyway, um, now you see why we stabbed him. Something about Q, yeah, Bob. Anyway, Bob is very. Cal, oh, are you anonymous yeah, again on like Google? Eastern. Why you do this to me? Oh yeah, probably. Hold Stop on. being an anonymous, anonymous rhino. Why is he looking in as himself rather than his? What is? What does it even mean, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> How's that? That's much better, yeah. thank you. Uh, um, right, so besides the sex pest, which was uh, a gentleman called Bob, who... Sex pest. Ugh. Definitely gave intense vibes of, you know, uh, you know. Childhood. This is <laughs> what? <Nico. laughs> I'm, I'm not only like saying how do you say that, I'm saying I don't fucking know what you said. Yes, <laughs> and we'll leave it. We'll 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 <laughs> leave it at that. It <laughs> Moving forward, <laughs> I couldn't get to it. That was that <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 I want to redact my brain. Oh. <laughs> what else do you remember from last time? Uh, what else do I remember? Um, I was actually traumatised a lot by that guy. You just um, traumatised so. me, never mind last time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made the guy right and that's the vibes I go. I didn't make you say those words in that order. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that's the vibes I go, okay? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, this is like a PG-18, no, right? <laughs> a PG-18. We always are allowed to hear that. Apparently so, so yeah. <laughs> to, it's an 18A. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Anyway, so... I think you're always basically children, so that's fine. Carrying <laughs> on... <laughs> What else do you remember? Uh, what else did Tom? Right. What was what? What did you speak to Bob about? What was Q Bob all about? Uh, we were there to go get a new arm. Well, essentially, do suit to salvage arms for weird. Mm -hmm. Well, we had uh, a back and forth with the Queen in the shuttle, and I think that was like the main, main two things that happened that session. Oh, I also really do much. got. Um, some info out of him in a possible business arrangement where he was uh, he was obviously interested in, in a barai because of perhaps our ability uh, equipment or technology of some sort from the downed uh, boats. I assume it was an Eoxian boats. An Eoxian cruiser is the term he used. Yeah. So we can we can assume it's probably not Bowen fleet, but it is probably one of the actual Eoxians that was on the station. Um, so Bones Ages will be um, get that technology for whatever it may be from the ship. Presumably it's weapons he's looking for, given he's a sleazy weapons dealer. Um, <laughs> oh, sweat, yeah, yes, it was only the sleaziest of weapons. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, he, he just he gave me the impression of someone who would who would definitely definitely eat a person. Yeah. Yeah. There's also and Zig. I was gonna say, yeah, Callum, do you want to fill us in what you yes. remember from last time? Um Zig bumped into his old pal Edgar. Yep. His good old buddy. That did happen. That was that. I don't know if it's nice. wonder. Alex. Do you remember what you said tonight? We seem to get on all I had right, a nice right. chat with the Queen and didn't go anywhere. Yep. And whose fault was that? Hey. <laughs> she's the one that's trying to get me naked. <laughs> she did try yeah, and get him naked. That's true. I mean, that's technically sexual harassment. <clears throat> wow. Like... Strong theme this episode, guys. <laughs> yeah. This is a PS3 episode. So... I think I'm actually going to have to put an advisory on this episode. Warning, don't just skip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just yeah. highlighting the dark tones of the The last episode. episode. Yeah. Look, this is a shady planet. Oh, um, where did the where did the file go? Oh no! Right in the uh, the artwork because of all the lights and the sun and uh, the desert. But you know, 
shady in the less literal sense. It really highlights the grey tones as part. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, goals. Talk me through your goals, guys. Goals. This planet is like Wallace Town. No. I got a fine hour. It's like Wallace Street. I'm fine. Can I repeat it for the folks at home? <laughs> Get back to the final hour, regroup, and debrief with the crew. It does say regroup, though, plan. so I mean, if you don't regroup. <laughs> I mean, it does. <laughs> 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 oh my god, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if it was me. So it seems like something I would do. <laughs> it's very fitting. Um, <laughs> for the highest team. <laughs> Would you like to be groped by the cast of uh, Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity? <laughs> well, you can't, because that's wrong, um. and you shouldn't pay for that. Although evidently, I have terrible tastes. So Although if it was terrible. me, I was in this session, and I did not do it for this session. It was ages ago. It's just been discovered. I just can't remember doing it. Okay, but it hasn't I been corrected yet. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's no, no, there's, there's no reason. There's no reason. Oh dear. I'll do it. Yes, there is no reason. Alex, you were saying sorry. I will fix my armor. Okay, sure. And yeah. um, <laughs> next. <laughs> Secure ally and CC top. And get all graph. Mm -hmm. I don't know who CC Top is. CC Verse, maybe. You know We're definitely Top Dark Crest fan. Only the, the greatest forum hacker <laughs> dude that's ever been to SA again. I'm all getting <laughs> like, sort of lines. <laughs> I don't think we'll make it to October, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely, like, I've been telling people I'm doing fine with this quarantine. I think my brain has done it. It's terrible. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what people are talking about going mad. What's going mad? Bro, I'm having the best life, quite frankly. This is fucking great. The world's finally got to our level. <laughs> That's what it, yeah. <laughs> and we fall deeper. <laughs> so let's go fix goal three. <laughs> right, so. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> That's not the worst. That is not the worst changes I've ever made. Is get an intern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, I feel this is an Alex change. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. My goal my goal is perfectly sensible. Um I actually think I might change mine. Okay. Uh I'm thinking Do we want to take the goal three seriously the first though? Objective. Let, let's do goal three <laughs> seriously then. That's pretty serious, right? So somebody um, read it to me. Serious, right? Keep it in one one take. Secure our life. <laughs> And the one and CC and get up. There's one E in the. The uh, V. <laughs> okay. Dust. This is a different word. Dust. <laughs> this is like that Thursday post that I saw the other day. What? <laughs> I said this is like that Thursday oh. post the other day. Um, I'll share oh, it again. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we? Should we, should we just kill the recording and start again? <laughs> that may actually be a good idea. You're fucking hell. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're carrying uh, on. Right. Okay. <laughs> First to be Get to it. I'm sorry, oh, Rack. <laughs> it's one of those sessions where I get a lot. Little... Go as fuck straight, get an ally and CC, get autograph. <laughs> See these face on right. Let's get let's get through these goals. We could do it, lads, and we can mess up. <laughs> let's do it. Team. I think we mess up in the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, Remember every change, seven. every change you do here, my computer has to process that connection, and it's already got the worst connection right now. 
So it then spikes my upload, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah. There we go. Still. Whew. Ah, two yeah. seconds, I'll just get it on the phone. <laughs> Hello, my internet. <laughs> uh, right, goal four. Colin, you wanted to change it. Yes. Good. Yeah, so I think I should go and talk to Ramasethu. Okay, yeah. About... Uh, about... Whatever it was that she contacted with us for, and also about Q. Okay, yeah. You mean Bob, but yeah, Q. Um... Right, 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 actually, I might go back on the change. There you go. Okay. I assume that's how it's spelled, except it's not how it's spelled, because it's just spelled Q. Yeah, that's fine, that's how I've wrote it in my notes as well, Q Bob. <laughs> Q Bob. Q Bob. And number five! Because, like, Q is like Q from, you know, James Bond. Mm. But in no way. That's that it. would be a very interesting film, though, if you were. <laughs> Just, it would Jim definitely be a film. Would you like a laser pistol? So it would be it would be played by Robbie Coltrane in makeup, lots and lots of makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Coltrane, if you ever want to come and guest star in a start like. Starfinder, don't save yourself. Um, so, there you go. <laughs> yeah, go for I'm it. I'm sure Come. he has some great stories. Robbie Coltrane, I am sure, has led a life. Explore a possible connection between the Solar and Void Uggs. Such enthusiasm, man. It's fucking good. Uh, Marvelous. Eggs. Oh, no, that's not, that's not an E. There you go. <laughs> he knows how to project his voice. He's done eight. <laughs> Theater. I'm going to change mine, actually. I go. That's like theater, but. You're going to take the E off of regroup. You listen to the radio for. Nope. Okay. Nope. It's there to fucking trigger everybody, man. Uh, <laughs> why, why I mean, there's this? been a lot of this, it's been triggering already. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to use this time to leave that screen and look at the look at the, the roll 20. I've got it. And open my character sheet. <laughs> And pop out the chat because I can do that. Yes, you can. Uh, oh, so happy. You can what? Is that okay? If is you that, double click on the chat go, box, it will pop out. I did tell you this like weeks and weeks and weeks and probably. I don't oh, that's what you're talking about. Hmm? That was last week. Uh, oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. It was probably weeks before too, but yeah. I occasionally yeah. try and remind you guys yeah, how Roll see. Twenty works. I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I am so warm right now. So warm. And I think I know why. Is this... <laughs> Holy shit. Is this new first go, alright, Ryan? I'm going to change mine. Fine, what suitable was the, source uh, on. Holy shit, in Adolf. Uh, sorry, I could just show me Boris is in Nintendo. Oh, 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 I mean, that is supposed to be oh, off. But... Yeah. The. the thing... of... I can talk about that off. Off. Recording, yes. so we're not held politically <laughs> for our views. Um, find suitable source of income while in Akaton. Yeah, like if you want that. Like, what? What do you? That seems reasonable. What do you consider suitable? Uh, whatever we deem not morally disgusting for the. So everything <laughs> between babysitting and genocide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking <laughs> fetch any children for Bob, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you procure of, fuck, procure of the, uh... Procure? Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't find it. He's huge, though. Terrible. Six day, like, daycare. Basically, any work that the crew is cool with. Okay. Alright, so... Calm, are you keeping the goal? Or are you changing the goal? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Seeing as the whole point in running off was to see if there was any sort of anything. But then Edgar got in the way, so. Okay, see? see how that goes. I so, thought he was having noodles. 
So well, he didn't get in the way, but nineteen minutes like later. Right. <laughs> right, I got my sensible heat on already. I even changed We're starting. For the first time. Right. Hey, I changed all the goals. Five, one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. So, the shot opens yeah. with Sig reacting to Edgar. Oh! Edgar! Edgar! And he, I think he'd kind of look behind him and look at him and be like, kind of walk up towards him. Is there like an empty like seat next to yeah. him or? Yeah, it's just like a kind of noodle stand type yeah, thing. Yeah, I think you get outside and it's got like a bunch. I of, like, think he'd just join him at the at the side of the the, the little noodle stand, and he would just join him at the mm -hmm. next to him. And I think when he does that, like he's sitting, shoveling noodles into his mouth, and he kind of like nods to the person serving him. Uh, Nudge to them, nudge to you, and then you get a carton of noodles put in front of you. Sweet. They're probably sour, but it's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. Zig, Zig, just, you know. Um, I think he kind of picks at it. He doesn't, like, just chow down, but he doesn't, you know, yeah. not eat it. He just kind of eats it at a leisurely pace. Yeah, I think, like, excuse me. Maybe by the time you've thought about eating the first part of the noodles as well, like that's when Edgar finishes his, and just kind of like sits there, does that thing where his chin starts to meet his collarbones, and then burps, and then he says, "Whew." So, what brings you to Akaton? Um, just uh, when you get back in contact with 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 the ship. Um, and I, I thought I'd use this time to kind of wander about. Why are we telling him the truth? <laughs> because Zig actually doesn't mind him too much. And he's just kind of like there. And he's like, with his kind of a juice box thing that he's given. And it's a like tinfoil packaged juice. He just sits and pretty much sucks the thing flat and then starts folding it up absent mindedly. Uh, the foil of it, and he says, "Yeah, but what are you up to on Akaton?" And it gives you like a kind of cheeky look. What? What happened to you? And he just smirks and he's like, "What? Oh, what, what do you mean? Happened?" And he looks at himself and like he fixes his tie and stuff. And he's like, "What do you mean?" Um, right. Okay. This is not in character. Um, last time, last time we saw him, he ran off with um, dragon bitch. Yeah, him dragon and, man. Him and him man, man, he yeah. vanished from your ship. Him the eleventh yeah. hour. Playing out quite badly there. Right? Oh, I, lo I lost the, the end of that there. Yeah. Just listen back to the recording. It's fine. Um, okay. The, but yes. No. Yeah. So he, the eleventh hour. With Manny. It was on the eleventh hour. Yeah, so I, I think they would just say that. Well, last time I saw you, <clears throat> you kind of vanished with, um, and I think Zig would kind of look and um, just go, Hamani. <clears throat> I think he chokes in a bit of noodle. <clears throat> and then he kind of just kind of like sits there and leans on his, uh, like he makes a fist, puts his elbow on the, the countertop and puts his, his chin on his fist and he just looks at you while you're kind of slowly eating and uh, if you start to choke he'll like hit you kind of strongly on the back so that you don't actually choke and yeah, he'll yeah. just kind okay. of absentmindedly talk at you and he'll say yeah you hear about Absalom and Zig would look, at, look down at his noodles and be like I've, I've definitely heard yeah <laughs> I was like, hmm, that's rough. I think um, at this point he would also like play with his play with his noodles, like kind of not eating. Yeah, I think like he, he just puts his chopsticks the, into the, the noodles that you're apple. eating, and then just slowly like does like just picks at yours. Can I can I deflect his chopsticks? Yeah, because he's not really paying attention. So you can just like like as he comes in, yeah. and I just like kind of flick his chopsticks with my chopsticks. 
Yeah, and I think that maybe gets his attention back from him absentmindedly doing that. Yeah, yeah, and he looks down and he's like, "So yeah, how come you're here? Is there, is the gang here?" And he just like kind of laughs to himself a bit. For for the most part, yeah. He raises an eyebrow and he's like, "For the most part, who have you lost? Was it Lyco?" <laughs> I don't think we ever had a grasp on Lyco. Oh. He laughs at that as well, and you see him like pat his uh, jacket, like as if trying to feel stuff in the pockets, and then he just kind of looks a bit sad, and he puts his, his hands, and he starts like wrapping them on the countertop, and he says, Yeah. Shame about Absalom. Kind of made confronting MO. Quite difficult, actually. He just slowly nods. I I I missed like half of that. I got Absalom and Mo. I mean, yeah, just assume the rest. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'll see if I can fix okay. this. Okay. No. Just kind of shame about Absalom. That kind of made getting to Mo difficult. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, right, so I, I, I was going to say, so it isn't me, it's him as well. <laughs> okay, cool. That lets me know something. You were, you were, Most you were jumpy, but yeah. I got... It's not just your internet. I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to see if I can... everyone's a bit. Give me a second to see if I can fix some water of mine. I'm going to see if I'm doing something in the background. Ah, yeah. yes, yes I am. <clears throat> But his his line was, oh, that. Okay. you know, did you hear, like, like, Absalom was a shame, it made getting to MO difficult, you know. Oh, okay. That's what he was saying. I can, I can imagine. What, 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 what have you been... However long it's been. It's a good look, kind of. Just kind of through the the little noodle stall, stall like. I mean, through. like when you think about how long it's been, right? So it's been before all of the Castroval stuff, right? And before getting to Akaton, mm. been before the vault in its entirety, right? And it's before you landed on Versus. So yeah, like it's been quite a while ago. Yeah, I think I think it would just be good, like going back in his head through the sort of like the because you were on the way to Absalom happens in... with Edgar and obviously Hamani on board mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh, again, is that, sir, what, did you ask him something there sorry I don't know if I heard you if you did or not no all he, all he said was what, 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 have you, what, what's, what have you been up to since the last time you asked him and then, then sorry or he just said yes I did Mm. Is that when he replied? Absalom, mo difficulties. Or was that after that? That was after. That was like just there. That after. Yeah. Okay. I think it was just after you. So uh, he just kind of sits there, kind of tapping away, kind of almost nervously, on the countertop. And he's like, "This and that." And he kind of just smirks at you. You look taller. Were you taller? I think this is a good kind of just look at himself and um, look back up at Edgar and shrug. I'm just me. He does that thing where he, like, he puts his hand like with his eye level to try and judge like your height. Yes, he moves his hand up a bit and down a bit. He's like, hmm, no, definitely taller. I think it's a good smile a little bit, and then just go back to eating noodles. I think he... I may... think, um... Yeah, I don't think he says anything for a bit. He lets you kind of, like, eat away in kind of silence. Yeah, I think I think a little bit, like, a, maybe, like, like, a minute or two would pass before they would kind of Turned around and said, "What? What's? What are you? What are you doing now? What's your agenda?" 
And so I think he'd also grin while saying that. Yeah, and he's like tapping away. And uh, he looks at you as you're grinning at him and he says, You've got noodle in your teeth, Zig. Hank Zig would just um obviously, you know, the 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 normal <laughs> protocol of removing said noodle from teeth mm -hmm. as discreetly as possible. Yep. All a little bit embarrassed for having noodles in his teeth. And he sits there and he's like, yeah, I'm just visiting, you know. Nice to see a bit of the the solar system. Packed worlds, if they're still even called packed worlds, right? And he's kind of like leaning on his hand again to like stop him fidgeting. Does he look kind of like he's he's like waiting for something or um is it is he like kind of nervous or I don't know, I don't know. Roll. roll sense motive. I think I shall. Seeing as that my character she's Do it. Do it. Sense motive, yeah. Oh I'm not very good at that, but let's go for it. Shaboom. And also this. Um, oh yes. Yeah, um, no, I can't tell you. It just it does look fidgety, right? Like uh -huh. you probably recognize it because this is probably how you look a lot of the time. Mm. So yeah, definitely like can't seem to. It doesn't seem to know what to do with his hands. He keeps like either he's he's leaning on his hand like with his chin to avoid tapping on the countertop mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So uh, it just seems a bit fidgety. I think I think Zig would just say. It. He's also not in like in a, like a suit of any kind either. Um, oh, okay. Like so he's, of, he's looking very. No, he's in he's in his business suit, but he's not in an encounter suit of any kind. Okay. Like you're right. in full shiny laser proof armor. <clears throat> but he has some sort. Does of... he need that fucking encounter suit? Really? really? <laughs> fucking smoke <laughs> beef. I don't think he <laughs> really needs it. Probably. <laughs> If anyone wants to copyright Rainbow Smoke Beast, he can. I've already done. Um, yeah, I think I think Zig would just look at him and say, "Are you okay?" I looks at you and say, "In my line of work, Zig, you learn to just make yourself okay." And he looks at you, and like he's got quite like a serious look on his face when he says that. Um, and he kind of like nods as if he just expects you to understand what he means by that and then um, mm. he says we've been through some unusual stuff both of us eh? <laughs> yeah, I could kind of laugh at that just as I did there um, <laughs> I think he would say it's un unusual yes Interesting stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say horrific, personally. I mean, that works, I guess. Uh, you enjoying the noodles? Pretty, they're, they're pretty good. I mean, yeah, can't worse. Can you roll a fort save, please? Oh heck! And you need to do it against all the radiation difficulties. Oh, Jesus! Oh. I mean, no, he opened his suit to eat noodles. Oh, of course he did. Because I'm eating noodles. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can't find it. Yeah. Oh, there it is. No, there it is. Badoof. <laughs> it's not yeah. great. You probably start to feel pretty ill, buddy. <laughs> Did you feel your noodle roll? Oh no. I did feel feel my noodle roll. I think Zig would um Like maybe it dawns on you. It maybe dawns on you because you're looking at him just out in the open. You've maybe just blanked on the fact that you had to unseal your helmet and everything yeah. and then just sit and eat noodles and uh, Yeah, I think I think Zig would like look at him and just uh, you know, you, when you do that thing where you're like, you're you're feeling like you're really going to be sick, and then you just try not to be, and you you, you become that statue, and then you're sick anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think that would 
probably happen. Yeah, can you roll a will save? Uh, maybe. I don't know if I can succeed, but... <laughs> no. You pass out. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, you black out. Okay. And um, I think the last thing we've got is just, like, maybe from your point of view, looking at the noodles, and then it's starting to go blurry, and you're going... Mm -hmm. And then you look up, you, you, throw, you throw up, and then you look up at uh, Edgar as suddenly, like, he... Like, jumps back quite a few feet, but really it's because you fall off the chair and hit the ground. Um, and you've got like the thud of the back of your helmet. Uh, and you hit the ground, and then it's just him like jumping off the, the stool and rushing to you, and then you blacking out. Um, so, meanwhile, a couple of hours ago, in the shuttle, weird. Yes. It can be as far into or having just wrapped up the patch job on the suit as you wish. Um, mm, where do I want to pick this up? Because mm -hmm. uh, the entire time she's paced up and down the shuttle. Oh, fine. okay, yep. Um. She definitely did offer help, but let's face it, I feel like you'd probably just have happily did it yourself. But that, that can be a judgement call on your part, because she will have tried to help, if you let her. I'd ask her if she's got any experience with this. So let's maybe pick it up there, where like, maybe you're... Yep. We'll, we'll fade in halfway into the, the patch job, and her going, yep. will it take much longer? And you're saying, do you have any experience with things like this? And she says... Patching up a suit to protect me from radiation to chase a Isoki into a city polluted with radiation that seems to attract cultists on a planet I've never been to before. Mm, let me think about that. No. Okay. A joke, you see. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Although I think that one's called sarcasm. I feel like that's less of a joke and more, more of a criticism. But um, More so on my failing experience than your lack of brevity. Well, let's hope there's more time for experience then. She just she smirks at that. She says, <clears throat> let's hope we all have more chance for experience, shall we? Yes. Um, are you able to adjust your height using this armor? And she kind of like tilts her head to the side and says, "My height." Well, aside from the additional arms, this armor is designed for someone who is seven and a half to eight feet. I see. <coughs> And she kind of laughs, just to like she looks to the side and just kind of like laughs as if she's remembered something fondly, and she says, "You know, I was once courted a while back. Now he's probably long dead, but I was once courted by a gentleman who was so insecure with his own height, he used feathers from various birds to pad his boots, so he appeared taller." Do you have those feathers with you? I think there's just a shot of her standing there and then she goes from like fond memory posture to of course I fucking don't posture um, mm. and she just tilts her head and she's like no, no I don't unfortunately do you in your magical bag? I'm not that insecure She smirks and she's like <laughs> no, hence the cape Yes And she nods says, I'll look around the shuttle, shall I? And then she just, like, starts opening whatever she can to look for something to, like, pad the boots up, I guess. See? New experiences. And aren't they just rewarding? Maybe she would say enriching. <laughs> I think she would say enriching. Yep. Uh 
that would make do with the leg height. There might be some issues with the um, arms, so don't expect a massive degree of dexterity. I'm hoping not to have to waltz or cartwheel, however basic movement would be ideal. Well, we can manage that, and fortunately the plasma cannon is integrated, so that shouldn't necessitate the hands. And she kind of like thinks to her and goes, I know some of those words. Which one? And then she sits there and she's like, boom. And she just like does like a motion with her hand with the fingers opening. Yes. Hmm. That's a reasonable assessment of the suit's capabilities. Okay. So yeah, I think, um, unless there's anything you want to ask her, we can skip to the end where you've patched the suit up as well, and we've padded what we need to pad. Um, unless there's anything else you want to ask her along the way, don't mind, you can kind of lead this scene. probably say you seem fairly adept at weapon craft of armory. Should I just like nod slowly? Like survival keeps you in power. Um ish, yes. Um but you made quick work of those sonic asauruses. Yeah, and she laughs and she goes, the Nisilosaur, yes. Yes. I actually have no idea if that's what they're called, and it's what she's calling them, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, How convenient. <laughs> Do you have similar training with Drag. Sorry, I'm losing some of your words here. Uh, so did you have similar training with Dragonbone? Um, you mean fashioning weapons from Dragonbone? Yes. No, I've only ever met living dragons, in fact. Mm. Um, the one that fought in my arena wasn't exactly there by choice initially but it was a settlement agreement you would call it to safeguard the brood you had control of her children no but what neither then? did she so how was that a settlement? We didn't hunt them to extinction. So you have some knowledge of hunting dragons? Personally, no. But younger dragons aren't so thick-skinned. So we go after the. Say that again, sorry. So you go after the what? So, so we go. After, we go after the children. I assume the ones I left alone grew up, passed on, or are still around in their old age now. Will perhaps have children of their own. Perhaps it's a horrible thought, huh? I may be assuming that all dragons would be so. Parental. I believe I would not fare well in negotiations with those children. No, but if we have power over their ch the negotiations <laughs> might be go better than they have done. So. So. She actually goes and she takes like a seat. I am. Um, and she like pivots it round to face you. She crosses her legs and kind of like leans back a bit in the seat and she says, 
I don't know if I want to rule the same way I did before. I think threatening children isn't exactly noble. No. But trust me, it sits very poorly with my ethics. But this isn't a question of how to rule, this is a question of how to survive. And And she leans forward that's like she sits forward and like leans on her like her, her knees with her elbows and stuff and she says, That's my point. This is about surviving. Let's not build a roster of enemies beyond what you already have. Yes, but you're in fact trying, how... you're trying to remove one. One yes. of these black dragons. No, I don't necessarily mean that we have to harm his children and make enemies of his children. But if we can make him believe that we have some influence with them, some power over them, it needn't be real. She kind of like, she goes to speak and she's a bit like open mouth for a second and then she stops to like think about what the words she wants to use and then she says, the males care more about ego than the females. The females are concerned about lineage, survival, and existence. That's why queens are better than kings. However, this black dragon is male that you have an issue with, or whom has an yeah. issue with you. I don't know if threatening children is the way to approach this situation. I could so, be wrong. He could be incredibly maternal. And she just laughs at that. No, 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 that's a useful point. What we need to do is figure out how he feathers his boots. <laughs> and she laughs at that as well. Um, and she says, quite. Um, and then, yeah, like, she just kind of like sits back as if maybe she hasn't thought about how she wants to attack like a political campaign going forward. <laughs> so she sits back and just kind of leans back in the chair and just thinks away to herself a bit. Um, unless she says anything else to her. So I'll crack on with the armor then. Yeah, so I think we, we yeah, can skip. Point to end it on. Yeah, so we can skip to the part where you, uh, you've you've finished it essentially. So it's it's wearable mm. by like a normal person, I guess now loose terms, right? But um, a less than weird person is probably a more mm. accurate term. Loose terms mm. sync. Chop and uh is there any like announcement from weird or is it just you stop working stand up stand up and look at her and i think she's like slowly just like staring at like the skylight of the, the shuttle and just slowly like swinging the the seat back and forward when she swings it around she sees you staring and she stops and she's probably looking at you upside down and she's like do you need help do you have those feathers Yes, I found them on my walk past the peacocks. I believe the captain already left. Huh. Insubordination. And she I'm looks, trying on a new trait. She stands up and she says, If I were your captain, that would be considered mutiny. Luckily, I'm not your captain. If my captain considered every insult mutiny, there'd be no crew left. She laughs and she says, It is a very small crew as it is. And then, uh, yeah. Like, we have that shot side on of her being like maybe six feet or whatever she is, 5'10, I think I said she was. And then you being, what, eight feet? Like, <laughs> yep. It's just that shot of the two of you. It's like, Yep, cool. Um, and she goes, Is it completed? For a rough estimation of complete, yes. I see. And this is no longer it suitable to your you. form, unfortunately. It can be easily repatched into my form, but uh, it will prevent you receiving a lethal dose of radiation. Hopefully. 
good because I would hate to be interrupted. Um, thank you for this. I appreciate it. That's okay. And then she I leaves, do. like through the airlock, and just yeah. like shuts the airlock and leaves. Doesn't get into it. Hmm. And she runs off in the direction that Zygwood went off. I but, hate royalty. <laughs> yeah, so it's been like probably, let's say, two and a half hours maybe working on that, maybe more. Um, mm -hmm. Give or take to get it right for her. And she just runs off without it. And then undo all of it. Yeah, so obviously that's going to take more time, annoyingly, yeah. to try and open it. Again, though, you, there's very little you can do with the stuff you've got access to to make it safe for you to leave. That's the yep. only downside. Um, yeah. So it is weird do after having been ditched by her. Come the captain and tell him that the, the queen is loose. <laughs> cool. So during the many contacts that Zora and Lyco go through uh, at some point Long before you meet Q-Bob, Zora, you got a com from Weird. Captain. Weird. The Queen is loose. Uh, uh, Some was more worrying than Zig being loose. Mm, she's going off to Zig. She. That. Uh, well, I guess she should be that worried, but is she that worried? <laughs> she... She's something. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. That's all I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you can probably hear this, right? You can. You're probably close enough by Zora to hear the comm. Something like it wasn't muted Lyco, or vanished. Like, is like has a comet was. So it seems. Call in. No. Uh, Call in. Do you think he's right? I hope so. I hope so too. The crew swarm an officer is. Right. What can we say that we'd rail him up enough to get him back? Something about the Batman. Uh, there he is. Normally, <laughs> don't have rings. Um, right. Okay, so you're back. So you're you're close enough to hear. Sorry. You're close enough to hear the calm from. Did you? Did were you actually close enough to hear what Alex said to Nico? Well, I uh, I missed the last few seconds at least, but I'm sure <laughs> I, I caught him calling up, saying something about you know the Queen being out and the captain was concerned. I caught that. Was there anything particularly said after that? After that, I was just going, hello? Yo. <laughs> hello? Well, you're with us now. So yeah, like you, you're close enough to hear the, obviously, the, the calm as well, what about the Queen having run off after Zig? Obviously, given that you all know she probably can't survive the radiation. And then after that, I was concerned, Alex said, she's something, and I just said yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. so I did hear 99% of it, and I think, um, I think Lyco like just doesn't say anything, just, just blinks a few times. <laughs> um, I mean, she seems to be able to handle herself. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna choose not to think about this for the time. I'm gonna nod, like, kinda three times like that. <laughs> and in the background we've got like heavy sci-fi bar nightclub music in the background of this shop behind Lyco and Zora um, lots of bass, it's lots of synth song. and um, yeah and then you like you shut off the comm unless there's more from weird on the comm for that I know I yeah. do. and you shut off the comm and then use two head inside to what is clearly just a topless bar uh, for like the second last contact that gets you in touch with Bob. 
<laughs> the last one's a bottomless bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's their other business. It's downstairs. And uh, hey. <laughs> Must be the money. So, is there anything else you want to do, Weird, in the uh, shuttle? Uh, some minor swearing. Yep, okay, yeah. You can cast yeah. minor swearing. Yep. <laughs> Weird's minor swear word. <laughs> Otherwise, we're good. We've just been so jacked. By royalty. I'll have my revenge. Good. In this life or the next. Good. In this weird or the next. Um, but yeah, so then I think Please. we'll probably catch back up then to Zora and Lyco mm-hmm. in the present time. Ah yes, my favourite time. Mm-hmm. Except for the past. Mm-hmm. Are we still with Bob then, yeah? Uh, you tell me, did you ask him anything else? Or like how did that scene play out? We can be back there. Um Well I think we agreed, more or less. More or less. And we'd have bought some stuff, I don't know. We well we wouldn't have bought anything point. yet, I don't think, because mm. we were sort of um what I thought of what negotiating with him, weren't we? Yes. Because he obviously wanted information. Well maybe that's no, the thing that so like obviously a, wanted, uh, it's not take. it's not out with reason that you would maybe take Zora outside again. Mm-hmm. So maybe you just put your suits back on, your helmets go back up you just walk outside into the less than radiation shielded areas of the, yeah. the city and you head back outside suited up a bit and maybe have a private conversation about whatever the hell just oh, happened in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're, you're maybe on like one of those um, I'll move us back just to the picture of the city as well just because it's cool to have a cool background Um I think it makes sense to just sort of fill in what we agreed with them. Yeah, so because than... let's say you're on like a kind of a bridge that spans between two, you know, cavernous type sides of the city, and you're yeah, leaning over the bridge, and then in the background you've got like the neon sign that's the queue that flashes and flickers, um, for queue bobs. And yeah, these are there. Okay. Right. Well, I'm uh, more than willing to see what I can do as far as the uh, as the downed Yaxian ship goes, but uh, I really I don't know that uh, this uh, Ramasethu is going to be obliging. I mean, this is their tech. It's not ours to give, but Mm. Um, if we can do that in the range maybe more favorable rates we can turn this into a really rather uh, profitable venture I don't think he uh, I don't think he has any reason to suspect we actually have contact with the Yoxian so you know maybe we Maybe we suggest to him that it was a particularly hazardous mission, and I, I, I really, I, I need uh, more assurances or hazard pay or what have you. If he has me going back in a second time, but get some things for him the first time to prove we can do it. I think we can. I think we can work this to our advantage. I would nod, boy. I'm willing to give it a try as long as it doesn't. Step on a bone sage's toes, if there's such a thing. Um, sure, she probably has them. Um, <laughs> I don't think we should. We should be eager to risk confrontation with her. Um, I suppose we need to go back to the ship, work things out regarding payment for the uh, the suit for 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 weird and. After that, I would not. We can come back after we've spoken with the Queen, and then perhaps we can make some further purchases. I would not. Uh, so, perhaps she can strike a better deal. She's got her we, ways. <laughs> maybe we should. Maybe we should check with them just in case she hasn't. 
return yet? Uh, it's maybe a good idea. And I would whip out the comb, you know, give me tinkle towards Alex. Um, yeah, Alex, weird. Alex, don't know why I said that. Because it's his name. It's Hello, the this is name. Alex. It's always name. It's a weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> name is real nice. Uh, yeah. Weird, your uh, comm starter's beeping, it's your captain. <laughs> captain, it's Alex here. Uh, I'm taking over the ship. Alice? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Ah, weird. Why are you being weird? It might be weird, but who am I to judge? <laughs> 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 Any word from the Queen yet? Uh, no. Mm. Nor is Zig for that I matter. I don't know whether that's com comforting or concerning. Um, unfortunately, probably concerning. We have to find her, then. Must we? She's got a calm on her, do we? I wouldn't bet on it. He could calm Zig. We could pin one to him. Right, that. Zig has a calm. Huh. Yes. I finally succeeded. Finally. Best of luck, Captain. Yeah, I would nod and you won't see it. <laughs> I think the comm knows that it's got like a motion sensor built in by this point because <laughs> nod. we can um once we've located the queen we can arrange for you to be suited up if she's willing to pay for it we've we've I think we've arranged a little deal that'll allow us to make some uh uh, make future purchases perhaps at more favorable rates. He, uh, the individual we spoke to had a request for me. We'll, we'll, excuse me. We'll uh, we'll discuss it more in, in person. But uh, if you have any improvements you're looking to make to the suit, maybe start thinking about those. Talk about talk to Alex. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I assume you were a speaker because he responded to me. Yes. <laughs> that, other, that other character, Alex. Uh, how extensive a wish list would you like? I <laughs> just look at the captain and, <laughs> and shrug. Um, she has a queen. Uh, we're probably going to have to pay for most of this. You know. she, uh, we're going to need some money. Okay. We'll discuss that when uh, when the suit is available. But we may have to get it cheaper. We'll see. Yes, and um, once we have the suit working, then we can start making more money. I mean, Alas, I doubt I can do much productive work here in the shuttle. Fair. Um, what about? Hang on. I, I would nod. Um, how much is the suit? It's like that... 9,800, I think it was. Or... Is it on level? Let me find out. It's on it's level 8. It's, it's on level. Okay, so it's on level. Uh, right, I would is nod. Is it from the right. armory, isn't it? Yes, I've not got it written in this. Why not? I would. Uh, I should be able to pick up on that. Because the sooner we get up, we're in the bell. Yes. Much appreciated, Captain. Great. Uh, 10,250. 10, yes. I, I can grab that. Grab my, I'll probably just get my so I'm a little bit Screw it. Uh, I would, uh, okay. I'll pick that up and we'll head back to the show. I'll try and get in touch with Zig before then. Anything yeah, else? Not for me, Captain. Dodd. And then... Okay. Gotta go. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then like, I guess you turn to Lyco and you just both have that look and then in the background <sighs> of the shot there's that flashing cue. <laughs> Bye.
back into the sleaze ball we go. I'm sure I'll... <laughs> this is a lizard really saying that he's a sleaze ball as well. Like, I probably seen some sleazy, disgusting, like, ch like chicken feeding his young, disgusting sort of shit in my time. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem very vesque to me. Mm. I don't know. Themselves. Uh, I don't know. Uh, um, I was kind of what, what, that's kind of what I was getting at when I said I had balls and sisters. I, like, I was just like, I, I didn't really. I know. ate them! <laughs> Mm. Lovely. Yeah. So well, let's <laughs> let's head back in and see Kebab. Yep. Ke... Who walks yeah, in first? Do Bob. I will walk in first. Okay. I'll be like, Ugh. Get your dubby. And he's Bob. there, just like half trying to like pivot into the big chair that he was in originally. God. Uh, also, stand by. What has happened, dear gods? We're, we're Zegless once more, which yep. is appropriate because we are Zegless. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. You can fix the sign and just let us know. Fucking hell, Gallag! Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so he's like slowly, like, he's got two hands on one arm of the, the chair and he's it's slowly gonna... pivoting around and his backside ends up knocking over like the bucket of grease Jeez, onto yeah, the floor. Just going to, uh, no, get a wee something something for your stop. Like, point towards the, the, the console. And he just like uh, puts the hanky up against his uh, forehead and uh, what dabs away as he's like sat in the chair or I guess poured himself into the chair and uh, kind of just waves with his hand at the, the console on the wall. He's like, on you go. Oh. It gave like an awkward sort of thumbs yeah. up. It go on the console and order whatever it was that Alec uh, weird wanted. Why is this happening? I don't know. Because oh. uh, you're phoning oh. it in, buddy. Phoning that in. I would He's 50-50. We'll get whatever it was that was put on the list, and yeah, probably just get myself that much oil. I don't that I'm not wanted. I'll touch your gun for Why not wait? Why not wait until we have better bargains established through the relationship meeting? Because Zara's impatient. Because, because <laughs> I might as well with a new, right? I'm here and I can afford it, and I'll have some spare money after it. It'll be fine. Yeah, so. Slot in your your calm device for your money transfer. Uh, I hate it. Just do it. Everybody knows. Big bag transfer. While he's doing this, I'll probably be like browsing through the monitor stuff. The monitor stuff. Oh, the, so, uh, computer. So sorry, you come back in then as well, yeah? Yeah, I would have followed him in. Yeah. Yeah, like if you come back in then, um, if you're behind him, he's gonna like try and pull himself back out of the chair. Uh, I'll approach him just to sort of stop him doing that because it's upsetting. Yeah, and, and I think uh, like he's too much in some kind of lava lamp motion to stop. No. And he stands. And maybe by that point you like went up and been like, you know, you don't need to. And uh, he's like, have you reconsidered my offer? Uh, not reconsidered. I, I, I didn't say no to begin with. I'm more than happy to see what I can do, but, uh, well. And he starts, like, dabbing, like, his chin and stuff, and he's like, I just mean to say, starts dabbing his chin, that, um, you and your partner left to discuss things privately, I assume. I it's nod. He starts like wiping it underneath one of his eyes. I will. Um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> accents lost. <clears throat> uh, I will. Uh, I'll see what I can do about the Axion ship. Do you have any particulars? Anything that's priority? 
And he just like grins, and then the reek from his mouth oh, obviously no. hits you, and uh, you can see that you like there's like saliva just already escaped the prison that was his mouth, and he he says, "Yes, I have a a preferred list of trinkets, shall we say?" And he starts like tapping his fingers together across his big belly. And his little antenna go up and down. And he says, uh, I'm uh, not a fussy man. I will, uh, if it's Eoxian, I will purchase it or trade it for my stock. But it needs to be Eoxian. If you are signing on, I would need some kind of assurances. Starts dabbing away on his forehead again. I'm just sort of nodding slightly. You know, just mm. in gentle, not, not enthusiastic, just like, I'm listening, I'm acknowledging what you're saying, kind of nod. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> at the mention of assurances, <clears throat> sorry, uh, I would say uh, of course, I, uh, I appreciate. I appreciate you can't just assume I'm good for it. But uh, what kind of assurance do you need? This is very dangerous business practice. You see, he kind of like looks at you and like creates himself <coughs> like seventeen chins as he leans down to look at you, okay. and he says, "The um." Recovery of something technologically Eoxian would be proof enough for me to release the list to you. It starts like dabbing the back of his neck with his hanky. So, uh, the, uh. Okay, you'll need me to gather some salvage from the ship or. We uh, discuss further what specifically you're looking for. I get that. I understand. Any kind of knowledge, and he's like, you see, it's irrefutable proof of your skill and disposition. Okay, I just like nods. It's kind of very intense, bulging eyes. I I will nod uh, back to him. Um, you know, just one firm nose, like, I will, uh, I'll go to the ship and uh, I'll get something for you and we'll see what we can do from there. Your partner, like, kind of, like, kind of turns his neck a bit to motion towards Zora at the console, mm -hmm. might not fare as well in the... I conditions. The, uh, I gather from what you had said previously, uh, and I'm not surprised given the nature of their ships. <clears throat> it might be whether design flaw or by design the area around the crash very dangerous. Very. Mm -hmm. And he like, st like struggles to like pull air in through his nose and his mouth, and he's like, "Not many have remained." And he just leaves that hanging. The the area will probably be soaked with um with energies from their magitech. They do tend to blend the scientific with the mystical so there's a very good possibility that it's neither really poor design or by design that it's simply a byproduct of crash although it could be any combination of the above I suppose uh, but yes I, I anticipate having to keep my associate at a safe distance for this one 
Yes. Self-interest as well. He's browsing my expensive catalogue, you see. And I would like the transfer to complete before <laughs> he expires. But of course. <laughs> and he kind of like rumbles out a laugh. Jeez. And again, the horrible halitosis. And he, uh, he kind of like leans on the chair that he was sitting in. The kind of horrible throne thing. And he says, Time sensitive isn't the issue. They seem to have stayed. And he kind of just like looks confused as to why they'd still be there after this length of time. <coughs> and he's like, Absalom station was destroyed well over a month ago. Why why remain? It's um He's just shaking his head, or at least he did shake his head once and the rest of it's still going. You're not sure. It's a strange situation. I've I've heard similar things. Looks like uh maybe something's stopping them going back. I'm not sure. Information coming out of well, you've no doubt heard from your your contacts and made it out of of Absalom how uh, unclear the situation was up there. He kinda of just um looks at you and like lifts his face up a bit to the point where he's kinda of looking down his nose at you. Just, and just what have you heard about my contacts on Absalom? <laughs> he, just, he just he grins at that, a proper like shitting grin. Uh, um, I haven't, but I assume you have some. I mean, in, in your line of business, it doesn't pay not to have contacts on Absalom. Now don't get me wrong, I'm no CI. Former officer. <laughs> and he just kind of like looks at you like, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I, uh. I, uh. He says that quite enough that Zora couldn't hear that as, uh, as well, okay. right? Like, that was very much a. I'm not gonna out you. But I know. Yeah. Right? Th that kind of. See? I'm trustworthy. I'm not just saying you're an ex-cop here. <laughs> I, uh... I, I, I retain a, a, a good relationship with uh, certain organizations. But he I, hits uh, you with the back of his hand on, like, your chest. Um, and he just laughs and he says, Bridges. Build bridges with everyone. Good for business. I, no I, I nod my head at that. My greed. And he, he finally like pours himself back into his chair. And he goes to put his hand in where the bucket would have been and it's obviously empty space and he just looks down at the side of the the chair that's got the spilled bucket of grease and he just kind of looks sad. Oh. And he pushes a button on his chair <laughs> and like... Feel sorry for him. I guess the equivalent of like a Roomba comes out. Um, no. And just like sweeps the thing up. Um... And he just kind of sits there. Is there anything else I can do in the meantime for you to enjoy your stay here on Daza? Uh, our, uh, the length of my stay is, is uh, unclear, but it's likely to be more work than pleasure. Good for business. The guy just slowly like nods. Seems like a place with a lot of opportunities. If you know where to look. And he kind of just slowly nods. Can I jump in on this? Just three seconds. Yeah, he's big enough. Jump on him. Uh, I was <laughs> fucking huge, man. <laughs> 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 uh, well, 
Speaking of nowhere to look, we might be looking for some work around here. So I suppose you know where to look for that. Of the paid variety. Are you trying to imply that my uh, profession is beneath your notice? Well, if you've got any reputable work that needs done, pay as well. <laughs> he chuckles and says, like, "Reputable for um, and he, like, like as you like said, he's like um, reputable for someone so vaulted." Need motions with like fake reverence to you. You can't bow because that's not a biological possibility. <laughs> well, probably just well, like he could, but I think he would tip. Yeah, he would roll. <laughs> <laughs> but but like, his antennas duck down with him as well. Do you know what I mean? He's listening to antenna things. <laughs> um, oh. I'm loving Q Bob. He's brilliant. Uh, it's disgusting. Um, no, no uh, implication at all. None taken. And he chuckles. Uh, have you finished your browsing? I have, and it wasn't the armor, it was the way I wanted, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as you can afford it. Yeah, yeah, I can. And that's why I'm changing it to the weapon, because I can't afford the weapon and the armor. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so he's like, well, have you completed the transaction? Yeah, I have, I would nod. He kind of just slowly nods. Don't be concerned about people tracing the transactions. That is why the scramblers are in place. Oh, good. I'd really do. Keep a low profile with chuckle considering I was like pretty much and he sure just, my bit. Yeah, like, he laughs. <laughs> he laughs at that and he says I fear for your success in that endeavour. <sighs> when you're an eight foot vest, you know, you must be a pretty noticeable guy yourself. I would chuckle. <laughs> oh sassy. <laughs> and he says, Oh what do you mean? Uh nothing. Nothing at all. Just a pretty one of a kind, we should, uh, that's for sure. And he kind of just looks to Lyco, and he says... Almost a rarity. I would, I would just <laughs> and he does that thing where he side-eyes you, because obviously he was going to speak to Lyco, and then you, sp you said obviously, obviously a rarity. He side-eyes you, and then looks at Lyco, says... You know my buy-in to our future arrangement. I trust your discretion. And he kind of just nods with a bit of a poignant stare. Yeah, just a, a quiet nod from me. And then he says, Don't tell your friends about me, as he waves you off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So do you, just, do you just go anywhere specific as you just like suit back up with your helmets to get back outside? Well, you just purchased your his gun. a weapon your and a suit of armor. Your, and you purchased the suit of armor for yourself. No, oh, the suit of armor for right, so you've got that. and I've got the gun. I just so got we can perhaps myself. discuss reimbursement with the queen if she was so willing to. In that regard, you have two options here, Nico. Right, you could have just arranged to get it from somewhere in the city, or have it left at a location of your choice. In the sense of, he'll send you to a locker to go get it from somewhere in Daza, or you could have given the drop-off point, being like the shuttle coordinates, and it would just be dumped there. Uh, just, go, just get it dumped at the shuttle. Just get it dumped at the shuttle. Okay, it cool. Right. So, in that <clears> case, <throat> obviously, like, oh, you can be informed of that maybe at this moment in time is probably handy. Okay. Direct toward delivery, you know. And like, who can fat pack the, no, the, the security. It's not going to go anywhere until he gets it. I mean, <laughs> if that's what you want to do, Captain. Um, Two seconds to take a note. Zora, let's Q know where 
he parked. Of course you would say it loud like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> As I just write it down. Parked. Cool. Perfect. It's a uh, show of trust, okay? Uh. Yeah, after you insult the guy. <laughs> it's like, oh hey, you're, uh, you're, you're uh, big and you stand out, don't you, you big guy? <laughs> oh, I never said anything about his size at all. So, with that, weird, at some point before you see other people, you see other people. Um, yep. Looks like a bunch of um, people that's clearly been exposed to like radiation since birth, probably. Um, a bunch of um, space ruffians and they uh, they would literally just like turn up near the kind of landing site that you've got and dump like a big crate outside it probably looks as suspicious as hell I come the captain and say <laughs> there's a crate outside the door ah uh, he walks fast um That'll be a suit. I mean, you're probably yeah. heading back, right? If you've got nothing else to do in the city, you'll be heading back to the ship at this point. Yeah. And then this is maybe like half an hour after that. Like, yeah. It's pretty fast. I mean, it's pretty. It's yeah. Pretty quick. Good thought of uh, Yeah, that'll be a suit. Yes, but it's on the outside of the ship. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we'll be there soon. We'll have just on our way back. Uh, we still haven't. Still haven't come sick. Get there. Get there. <laughs> I'm sure that's not a problem. He never uh, gets into trouble. Never. Uh, never, never. I'm going to come sick. <laughs> and the, the, the com will just hang up. <laughs> so, do, do you want to come sick? Is that something Zora does? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll come sick. Yeah. So, uh, the, the com just. Rings about. Uh, try again. Yeah. Rings out. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I just do one ring, you know? Yeah, no, you need to show the matter, right? <laughs> uh, it's ringing out. God damn it, Zig. It's a calm. Who doesn't answer the call? Zig was just chilling out, eating some rad noodles on a yeah. radiation infested How dare city. Get How dare they <laughs> get roofied? What a real rad time. You know? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're not reaching him, I mean, I say we go back to the ship. We don't have any particular you know, leads on him, so it'd be easier to start from there. We know he started from there. I would not. Uh, this is the best place. The best course of action, I guess, because I've got no idea where it went. Guess. Onward. Then. Onward. And indeed, onward. So you just head onward. back to the ship, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you just get back to the shuttle, and as Weird stated, and probably is staring out through the airlock doors, yeah, there's a big, big crate. Dumped outside. I will open it up cautiously. Cool. Ivan pops it. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'd love that. I would actually, that'd be the best thing. I've slowly ever having. He's slowly eating the gun and the suit, though. Obviously. Can't wait, wait to go uh, rescue. That's like that's like <laughs> my number one mission. As soon as we get the final oil back, I've got to go fucking like invade versus for like fucking <laughs> Ivan. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's got the stuff you asked for, obviously. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'll drag it into the show. Yep. There's a complimentary bucket of uh, grease sealed up as well. Oh. Oh, I he's probably it touched them, so... Yeah. In fact, if he touched them, so I'd be impressive, actually. Yeah. Can I want to test it? Did you want to test it? Not taste it, test it. See what it is. <laughs> I thought that's what you meant by test it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's what a VESC scientist would do. Test one. Put it in mouth. Are you dead yet? <laughs> it's, it's not worthy of the Viscarium. 
Going <laughs> into the unworthy pile. <laughs> We're actual scientists you've kidnapped from previous worlds get to look at it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, do you just move the stuff inside? The yeah, yeah, I'll try to get inside, yeah. I will even insist. Yeah. So incest, you... incest, fuck you. Oh, you yeah. The crate won't fit I in, so you'd, you'd, you do it. you'd move the uh, the suit and the, the gun and stuff inside out of the crate. Um, and yeah, you're inside now, I guess. So these are all reconvened except Zig and the Queen. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, what with the gun at the crate and be looking at it and perving out it like snake, you know? Like... Mm -hmm. So. Ooh. Where did Are you going to phone Natasha Romanenko? <laughs> <laughs> Where, did, uh... Where did the little guy go? He wandered off down a side alley away from you. Okay, so yeah. that way. Right. I have no other information apart from that. That was a couple of hours ago, so... Here's a yeah. map of the city. Because I think that was something like six hours ago now, maybe seven hours ago yeah, by this point. Yeah, it's a while. It's a while. Yeah. Let's um, just say it's seven hours ago now. Okay. So... By this point, he could be into next year. <laughs> That's very I, true. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> I have an idea. How about you and I have a look on the... Info sphere, knowledge space, and uh, <laughs> I blanked on the name very hard there, but I think I got it right first time, and then it wasn't mm -hmm. sure. Anyway, uh, and uh, we'll see if we can find anywhere that he was likely to go. So here's the thing: Akaton has that, but you need to pay for access because it's a shitty planet, and it's mm -hmm. all like done by the hubs of the city. So if you're in the middle of the desert, you probably don't have, like. Access yeah, to stuff. Computers, man. So you like Daza City will have its own infosphere connection, but you'd need to like buy into yeah, it. Right. Where is the brightest, flashiest looking place? What in Daza? It's <laughs> my assumption. It's not the worst idea, is it? Look for the shiniest <laughs> thing you can find. <laughs> I just pour over the map, I suppose. Did I see anything that sort I of sticks out? It's all oh, fuck yeah, Zig would, Zig would definitely be here. I would look out the window and do it. Mm. Like, just see if there's like a, a, a I don't know, a, not a twilight. My god. It's like a city <laughs> equivalent of a twilight. No, city? like, so, I think what you're trying to do is use your knowledge of what Zig usually walks towards and try and figure out what you would do down that random alleyway but without going down that random alleyway, because you didn't go down that random alleyway, you just wouldn't know. So, why don't you all just sit up and go a wander and do some investigating nonsense? Yeah. Because if, if you haven't, of what direction to go in if you haven't linked up to the infosphere of Daza City, you're getting no map. So. Okay. So. Okay. But I'm not going to assume you're going to connect to that stuff unless you tell me, obviously. Um, because tracking. If we if we don't have a map to go over, we're, we're not going to do that, which I think probably would prefer not. Yeah. Um, if we don't need to, uh, then I I suppose yeah, we'll just we'll just track. Where are you sitting up? Uh, I'll need to add arms to it, do I not? Yeah, you're going to need to spend a couple yeah. of hours probably yeah. patching that up. And I was going to suggest earlier when you are on the phone that you might want a box of spare parts, but I realise you've got a whole suit of spare parts that you can break yeah. open. Um, so the queen doesn't need them. Well, I just mean the fact um, that obviously he only needs the arms of one suit to put onto the other, so the rest of the suit is technically like going spare for parts. Yeah. So Although it wouldn't be if you were wearing it. But she's not. Exactly. But then I wouldn't have anything to put the arms onto. Yep. So yeah, you could put on a setting suit, right? Making like straps and tin foil all around the arms. I mean, she, she seemed, doesn't get any of this. She uh, she ran off without it. Like mm -hmm. very deliberate. It wasn't like she just forgot it existed. Like Alice might. It's. She. Seemed. It definitely seemed like planned. That she was always going to just run off after him. 
after like several hours of wasting <laughs> weird time. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Queen's yeah. royalty. Hey, maybe the radiation's getting to her. Maybe it affects like the dark elves quicker. You don't know. Mm. Right. Maybe if maybe I'm gonna kill her. Maybe she's <laughs> that. Oh, it's got to it's got to weird as well. <laughs> the homicidal <laughs> tendencies. <laughs> I will. I will simply go and look for the zig. Yeah. So. Uh, and I will do the same. So you just go off, trying to like pick up on the trail while Weird stays home and does some engineering rules for his GM. Yeah. Yeah. I gave me one just I mean, now. We'll see how that goes. No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess. It takes three years. You're dead. Okay. Yeah, no, I think that's okay. fine. Like you can start like. Taking it apart, yeah. You're you're made of tools, so. I'm um, a tool. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to go there, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it's going to take a, like, at least, at least two hours again, because yeah. you've got more parts to play with now. But you need to undo what you did, and then kind of do the same thing again by ripping off arms and putting them onto this other one. And Make then sure. building the cape onto the outside of the armor. Yep. And that's yeah. at least ten hours of just aesthetic work alone. Um, <laughs> Painting it so the colors all match. Mm -hmm. Yep. Make sure it's not just fridge magnets that's holding colors. on. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, it'd be so annoying because one would be slightly faded, and one would be slightly yeah. shinier. Yep. So that's why got... it's getting repainted. Yep. But yeah, you can set, you can work put on the it. Put the on the outside. Yep. Of course. Kilt on the outside, yeah. cape on the outside. Yep, perfect. Perfectly practical in every way. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are welcome. And uh, yeah, so can Lyco and Zora bring back some sanity? And give me, what's your, hit me with your best shot. What's, what he's going to do? Tell me how he's trying to trap Zig. Well, um, Gonna try sense motive, even though it's not my. I'm, I'm, I've got a zero on it. Zero. Well, I was thinking was it tracking like it's is a lot like tracking. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah. very much like tracking. I've made this joke to Emma more. recently. Also, shout out to Emma. Hello. I would uh, roll bounty hunting, my profession, for now. Yes, you can definitely do that. But realistically, let me look at the skill sheet. Because. What are the, even the skills in this game? So, um, jumpy, lefty, lying, uh, Game Boy, <coughs> knowing places. What do you mean you didn't? You didn't take the the, the locate to people, feet? changing <laughs> faces, uh, fixing machines, scaring people, uh, taking apart toads, uh, serums, uh, spooky. Uh, seeing yeah, things. no, like I was just said, it'd be survival, uh, or I'll give you your profession for you, definitely. Um, profession, but you'll need to talk to people for that to work. Cause oh, I'll, I hate talking to people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you'd need to, you could roll your profession if you're as long as you're willing to speak to people to be like, oh, have you seen this bounty that's not worth that much? Please don't come hunting for it too. Um, and. Well, I don't need to tell anyone it's a bounty-related thing. Yeah, and uh, then you've got survival to try and, like, I don't know, suss out the area. I think, see if you get a clue at some point, Nico. You can roll sense motive uh -huh. on the clues, like, surroundings. Does that make sense? Like, if you, if yeah. Lyco can get a lead on something, mm -hmm. then you I mean, could maybe... I've got terrible sense motive. I was just basically like, the fact that I was, like... Or, like, if you're speaking to like... someone, they go, I haven't seen any rascal, sick! In yeah. the last 14 minutes? Yep. I was just basing the role off the fact that it was like, I was basing my whole search pattern off of what would Zig do? So it's like kind of like... Yeah, that's what I mean. No, like, I think <laughs> I think if you get more than just you ran down this alleyway, you can definitely, once you get a bit more to work on, you can run, you could <clears throat> use sense motive to be like, what would I do if I were Zig? Right? Yeah. I think that's fine. So... I think we we likely to lead this first though. I begin my endeavor by heading in the direction that he went. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we just hear like move. we just see all the sparks from inside the shuttle as a uh, weird gets uh, busy. <laughs> as you just head Sandstorm off. Sandstorm starts playing. Like yep. Just do -do 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 yep. 
<laughs> I, I can't do tunes. Um, uh, yeah, what, what, what am I encountering when I sort of go down the alleyway he took? Uh, again, <laughs> like, nothing of note as you walk into it, but like, it doesn't really branch off that much, this particular path. Um, there are places that kind of lead to like de dead ends and like um, like doorways and stuff that obviously lead to people's domiciles, right? Like kind of slightly slummy towns. But you, as you're heading through, you're starting to see like more and more people in the streets like piled up and more and more religious iconography, right? Okay. Do I see anyone just to, you know, ask? Yeah, there's people out in the street. As I said, like they're homeless. Here, yeah. Right. Do and any of them look particularly trustworthy? I don't know how to answer that. Like, if they're talking to their own feces, they're probably not trustworthy because they're too mental to answer your questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. if, if they're standing with a dagger, <laughs> just sort of, just obvious enough that I can spot it with my trained cop eyes going. Roll, uh, roll uh, perception, uh, and then roll sense motive, Lyco. Uh, it was a bad perception, and I apologise. And, and that was actually not so bad. So, you spot someone that has just finished talking to someone, and that other person's taken, like, you know, some kind of package of some kind from them, and, like, walked away. They're and they're just, just they're, they're just there, and then they're, like, sparking up. Yeah, okay. I will go and approach this presumable person yeah. um, and they will see uh, you look at them and uh, yeah like they've got the undeniable LED glow of an android ok yeah. I, I, would, I would simply approach and uh, say hey uh, sorry to bother you if you've, you've been around here for a while today I'm, I'm looking for a friend to pass by this way uh, You're not a cop, are you? Takes a draw in there. The cigarette. Ah, I, I have, I have a, <laughs> a good response to that. Not anymore. You gotta tell me if you're a cop. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm not. I'm retired. Uh, and he's like, oh, me too. And he puts like the cigarette look at his mouth and he like <laughs> grabs your hand and like puts his other <laughs> hand on it and just shakes it like. <laughs> Very like uncontrollably. Uh, obviously, you're still in your armor with like your sealed suit, yeah. and he is not. Um, um, and then, like okay. he puts his hand back up to his uh, mouth to take his cigarette out, and he's like, "I don't actually know why I smoke. It seems to make me more trustworthy." And then um, he, he kind of chuckles at that. Huh. huh? Yeah, I guess it looks um, like you're doing something when you're not doing anything. And he like he oh. looks at you and like taps you in the like the armored chest and he's like precisely. <laughs> uh, anyway, I uh, seventy five a, a bag. <sighs> and he takes another draw. Uh, I'm uh, I'm really not buying anything or looking for. I'm just uh. And he's he's like darting his eyes side to side up and down the alleyway as well, and obviously he's clocked Zora just standing there as an eight foot fucking vesk. A little while ago, um, probably a couple hours back. If you've been around that long, I've been around forever, man. Little guy, forever. Little guy, he's uh, <laughs> an Ahsoki. He'd have been in armor. Lots of Ahsoki here. Lots of things. Uh, he wouldn't have been local. You wouldn't have seen him before. He'd have been wearing armor. Who is local? Uh, I guess someone is. Um, probably he, quite loud. He laughs at that like louder than he intended, and he like stops himself and looks around, kind of jittery. Who's your uh, who's your friend? The big guy. Oh, he, the big guy. Is he buying? Ah, uh, the ambassador. This isn't a shakedown, is it? I'm paid up, man. No, no, he's um. Ambassador. He's uh. Also is he important? Retired. Yeah. Is he here for a hit? <laughs> <He's>, uh... <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, no, he's, uh... This is my favorite NPC. <laughs> he's like uh, like myself. He's he's uh, retired and uh, you know takes odd jobs these days. Everybody's retired these days. Can't get the work. Can't get the work. Can't get the work. Uh, not, yeah, not in, not in his line of work. They're really 
was only one job and now it doesn't exist, so. Um, can I show you a picture of the kid? I mean, if you've seen this little guy... He, 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 like, he looks at you for the first time, probably, in like, the whole conversation in the eyes. He's like, don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. No, I... If you've seen this, it's okay. And he kind of looks... He's looking at you while I've you're got, holding up the comb. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's staring at you. No, I haven't seen him, man. I haven't seen him. And he kind of just stops and st he's just staring at you. Okay. Uh... <sighs> and then he puts like the what is not much of a cigarette left just out. And then he like pulls out like another. And he starts to like spark Did... it up. I would you... kind of like put my hand out of like t take a closer look at the picture. <laughs> you buying, man? 25 a bag. Ah, uh, I'm so tempted to intimidate this stuff. Um, do it, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just grab him by the scruff. I just like, just look at the picture. I think as you grab him, he just starts just actually screaming. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and like people like start to look out out from like their piles of other people and hey, hey, out of their stalls uh, and hey. out of windows above you and stuff, and he's just screaming. It's it's a. Hey. Hey, Captain, Captain, let the guy go. It's all right. He's not. It's he's not police. Useless. Okay. Just le leave. Leave him go, Captain. We'll speak to someone else. <laughs> I'll let drop him. <laughs> and the guy like hits the ground, and he's like scampering for his like cigarette, and he picks it up, and he takes like a draw off it, and he says, "Can't just go around picking people up, man. Can't do that." Ugh. I'll, I'll walk away from him and I'll like throw my cigar on my, my, my shoulder. <laughs> I just fucking smoke something better. <laughs> Scrub. <laughs> okay. I think he's like, it's bad for your health. And he like scrambles and picks it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll sort of turn back yeah. as, I'm off, as I'm following the cat and I'll go turn back and say to him, you know, everyone trusts a man with a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, can, you, can you can use rest. both sense motive for me? Uh, okay, I'm not going to. Uh, they're well here, by the way. Uh, I cool. sense 23 motives. So, like, uh, obviously, Zora, you're probably just like, the guy was useless. Ugh. Uh, that guy was useless. And then you sit and mark off a cigar from your inventory. And then, like, you, uh, you get a couple of feet after you make that, you know, comment to Zora about trustworthy cigar smoking and uh, you realise the guy was basically saying bribe me yeah okay um, like maybe it dawns on you like after the fact where clearly he was saying pay me money so it doesn't yeah. just look like I'm snitching on somebody that you're holding a uh, fucking hollow photo of um uh Cap tell you what I think mm. I might be able to get some more information independently. No offense, but you scared the shit out of the guy. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain, you do. Anyway. <laughs> there's like, maybe there's a shot of you two in this alleyway, and then there's like a hover car or some shit going above where that light just like flickers once as a one passing over Zora, and it's just accentuates all of the lizard features in that one passing. <laughs> don't know why. Flash of light. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm give it a minute. I'll go back, speak to the guy, see if he's camped out. If you see if you can find anyone coherent, you know. A little further down the street, you know, he'll see that you know you're not with me anymore. He might calm down. Oh, he um, down. he did strike me as someone who was probably paying a lot of attention to his surroundings. In fact, he struck me as someone who is constantly paying probably too much attention to his surroundings. Okay. Okay. I will nod as I say, go 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 speak to him. And I'll go, I'll go, like, just, just loiter on a corner somewhere. But, uh, you know, okay, give it a moment, just walk, 
a little behind the cap, and then just sort of like peel off from them gradually, slow mm-hmm. down, fall behind, kind of turn back, but like in a manner that makes it a bit inconspicuous. Stop to look at something, you know. Do they roll a way around someone? Stealth roll or sleight of hand, stealth. maybe? Because you're um, trying to be under hand, was... right? I don't know, I feel like let's stick with stealth, right? Because you're... Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good at stealth. I mean, that was a bad roof. But well, I'm pretty well, good. Well, while, he, while he does that, I will, uh, like, calm myself down and think about my diplomatic uh, role. <laughs> yes, so I'll just fucking... Yeah, a minute. Yeah, do you take a minute to try and center yourself? yeah. Reason to do right now. Yeah, like if I was smaller and more of a rat, how would I? <laughs> yeah, so you start like mantering up, and then um, kill the, the puny human. Mm-hmm. The, 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 he was an android. Don't kill, don't kill the android. Yeah, just this android. <laughs> He's a fucking android. He was, like, yeah. he was a humanoid android. <laughs> he was a paranoid android, you could say. It's a great. It's a great. Yeah, album. he was. Yeah, he was that. That was pretty wow. much going to be. Paranoid Android. Maybe the session, yeah. Maybe, um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great song. Um, anyway, the. Uh, you head back, yeah? Yes. Um, and you see him, like, moving, like, refuge bags from one pile, and he seems to be stacking them up. So he's back, he's wearing a kind of, like, tattered trench coat. Um, okay, I have... Let me just check my money. That is not me. That is the ship. <laughs> uh, I have three... You know what? I can I can give him 75. I'll, um... I, I presume I probably have that all as a non-physical currency. Um, Pre- I mean, pretty much everything's non-physical currency. So, yeah. yeah. So, I'll, I'll, I'll you know... Approach him quietly enough. I mean, has he noticed me yet? Am I noticed? Him? No, like he's li- literally as you approach within the approaching range of approaches, he has his back to you and he's like moving bags, as I said, from like one side to the other. Just like they've been stacked up to so clear out like rubbish. I'll, I'll stand, I'll get slightly closer to him than I should before I do this, mm. just because I can't help myself sometimes. And then I'll, uh, you know, clear my throat quite loudly. And uh, he kind of turns around, and he's got like the cigarette in one side of his mouth that's half smoked, and he's got like the cigar unlit in the other side of his mouth. Uh, and he just looks at you and he blinks, and he's got like you know, maybe this is the first time you notice, but like one of his LEDs is orange, another one's like a cyany blue. Mm. And he's like, he kind of blinks, and he's like, "You're back. Is it you? You're the same one." There aren't many of my kind about. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's Byers, the same you're guy. right. And then he's like, he takes like a bite of the cigar as he takes the cigarette out of his mouth and he just starts mm. chewing it like a carrot. Mm. And he's like looking up and down the alleyway. He's like, I, I'm is sure your friend back? Is your friend back? He has uh, gone further along. Look, uh, we're still. Sorry to hear that. <sighs> no, I don't mean. You know, uh, n- n- never mind. Anyway, we're still looking for our You're looking? Friend. I've got. You buying? I've got. Uh, I, I'll weave my uh, calm about 75. Yes. Okay, I got 75. And you're not a cop? Not a cop? Not a cop? No. Good. Just the one bag? Just the one. Give you deal in two. Don't need to. Uh, you've not had the one yet. <laughs> true that. <laughs> true that. True that. And then he just like walks away. Um and like kicks off a vent cover and pulls out what just looks like a black slate tablet thing. And he's like Come on in, come on in, come on in. He kind of turns to you. Uh, um, can I roll sense motive again? Uh, to what end? What are you? Because this is super fu- stupor, stupor fucking dodgy. It's super fucking dodgy. Yeah, if you want. 
I, I sense motive on, on, on this fucking tweaker. Yeah, no, like he's he's literally just kicked open okay. clearly like a hiding space for where he keeps yeah. like I don't know a tablet. I, I will follow him. In. Yeah, well, he doesn't go into the vent. He just opens oh, it right, and pulls out the, okay. the equipment. Yeah, I you were like, and he's like, he "Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on!" And he like he waves to like the port on the the tablet for you to put your like com stick in. Yeah, yeah, I do. He's like, "There's a scramble, the signal, untraceable, ah, good expensive, stuff. many bags." He's kind of nods, and then he. Uh, yeah, I do. He like, he hold, do, he, do, like, do. He, like holds up the, the the tablet, probably too close for comfort initially, and it's probably like shaking like hell because he's not exactly steady-handed. Mm -hmm. He just slowly nods and nods and nods. Yeah, and I do. I I I, I put the thing in. It transfer like seventy-five credits. Yeah. Yeah, I will mark myself down. And he turns it back over and he kind of like looks at it, and then he, he like sets it back in the uh, pulls your comet, obviously detach etc. Puts the thing back in the the vent and closes up the vent and he's like do you want to pick? do you want to pick? do you want to pick? doesn't uh doesn't matter too much to me no refunds and he like shuffles off back to like the big pile of bin bags mm -hmm. yeah and he hands you one I, would, I, I take it off him and uh you know, secrete it away. I'm pretty good at hiding things. I mean, it's um, like it's like a black bin bag. Oh, it is like full of, large. Right? Yeah, okay. it's, it's like full. Yeah. Yeah, I, I you know, sling it over my yeah. shoulder, hiding yep. in plain sight. And you kind of notice, and he's like, "Don't forget old sparks." I'll lean into him and say, "Uh, so do you see any Asoki?" Looks like that. And I'm and then, you know, holding he, in the other hand the, the comm still open at that. Yeah, and like, he does that thing where he, like, he covers it with his hand. Obviously you've got like, bits of the hologram coming through his fingers. Mm. And he's like... The small shiny. That sounds he, like him. He points it away up to like further into what clearly looks like, again, all these makeshift churches. Okay. And he's like... Up there. But be careful. They're all a bit... And he kind of like gestures with his head. He kind of just starts nodding at you. Like really intensely. Okay. Thanks. And, and he, uh, I nod to him. He's still kind of in your face, nodding. Um, yeah, uh, I'll uh, just look at him for just a second. And nod again and walk away. Remember, if you like the first bag, come back to Old Sparks. For the second, the third. Are you gonna sort of wave him off without turning back around? Mm -hmm. And like as soon as I'm around the corner, I'll just chuck it at the first person I see. <laughs> You're just gonna th hit somebody with a bag, yeah? Yeah, no, like, turns out to be a cop. Yeah, yeah, literally <laughs> just like see, I, I, if there's not just necessarily any person, like if they look like someone I don't want to do that to, but like if there's any sort of destitute looking poor sap I'll just chuck it out. yeah like I mean there are a lot of people just lying around so you can throw a bin bag yeah, at them if you want see, just chuck the bin bag at them and say uh, I don't know say hey I don't need this crap you can and like the person just does that hey what are you doing why are you throwing rubbish at me type thing as they kind of start shouting abuse at you I just shout over my shoulder, like, like not even turn around again. Sell it. The bag just like <laughs> we just see the bag burst open, and it's just a bag of rubbish. <laughs> I'm not even looking back to find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll go back for cat. <laughs> <laughs> just go fucking jagged. That's brilliant. Fuck. I don't bother them in that same. You leave Sparks alone. I'd kill them. Oh dear. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so have a, uh, do, do I reach Capitan? Yeah. Uh, before you do that, can you give me an engineering roll, please? Uh, weird. Maybe. Maybe. Two dice. Uh, uh, uh. Cool. 
And 25. Can you also give me a computer roll? Confidence. 31. Cool. Yeah. Now, here's a choice for you. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to skip a lot of the fancier features to get the thing sealed and walkable for the sake no. of speed? <laughs> no. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. Not in the slightest. Cool. <laughs> I just want to know Would how you much. Be half horse or half fish. Um, Which half? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So the left half. <laughs> <laughs> nope, the left half and the right half, of, <laughs> respectively. Um, the, the the question was purely to see if you were willing to like try and speed up the process for you to like patch this thing together instead of, you know. Uh -huh. Mostly, I'm, I'm gauging how much you care about Zig and the Queen and the search and all that. So that's fine. Don't worry. I'm taking my notes. So I care um, a lot about Zig, but um, screw the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> she can fend for herself. And um, yeah. <clears throat> So it's still going to take you about like at least an hour, I uh, yep. to get this done. Then, uh, right. Meanwhile, with um, that, how does that conversation with the captain go? Very well, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's about time one of them went well. <laughs> well, when I get back from. Yeah, you're, you, you can be back to me. Yeah, you can just like catch up to me after that person in the street started abuse because you tossed rubbish on them. It's not my fault. I don't know what was in it. Um, admittedly, I didn't care who was in it, and I did throw it out. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, it's somewhat my fault. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. When I catch up with the captain, I will. Uh... Yeah, I suppose I'll just open with. Okay, so the uh, the android from before reckons he did see small shiny, which that's definitely sick, right? He went into the. Weird, culty-looking places. So that... That makes sense. I would nod. Of course, places. We're back that way, I think, particular. So, uh... Shall we? Oh, not again. Let's... Let's go. Nod and response and follow the captain. Don't nod and let's go to a good form of communication. Mm. Make it. Just just nodding, nodding each other <laughs> for minutes. I like the idea that it's so in these sweet. like these spacesuit type sealed versions of your armors though, so it's just like the head and shoulders bobbing up and down. <laughs> oh, it's good. Right, so what's the captain up to then? Uh, oh, we'll head towards. I would not. We'll head towards the, the culty looking area mm -hmm. that. So. Is this where you want to sense motive and be? Um, yeah, sure. I would be terrible at it. Um, hey, you brought it up, man. <laughs> uh, I'll just um, be like, I'll just say it out loud as in Dana. What, where would Zig go? Lyco can. I was going to say, if Lyco wants to throw in. Well, and that 20 to it. Yeah, so Lyco, do you want to still. Do you want me to throw in a role for sense motive? Or just for the helping, because like, you would be helping, right? Like. What do I roll to help? It's the same check, but it's like a difficulty 10 or something, is it not? Yeah, yeah. 10 to get a plus 2, is it a plus 1? I think it's plus 2. I I feel we had this conversation, I think, but it's a plus 2 because I've never, I don't care. I think it is a plus 2. Am I just. Sense motive normally, yeah. Just roll. There you go. I mean, yeah. I feel like I did that twice for some reason. But I'm probably the better person to do it. But yeah, I agree. Twice, it's done twice for me as well. I think mine's my mouse, it sometimes double clicks for no reason. It's maybe also just lag from the poor internets. That's yeah. probably a factor today as well. Oh, so, so 22 is what the role was for Zora. Um, for that in total then. And yeah, like, talk us through how you're... How, how do you get into the headspace of Zig? Uh, I don't know, I would first of all go towards the shiniest looking place uh, and Next to that, I would go towards, uh, I don't know, interesting. To describe the place you're in, you're in, like, obviously, a kind of alleyways built on top of alleyways, and it's neon heaven, and you've got loads of makeshift Shit. churches. Keep see, in I mind. was hoping there would be a visible neon place. <laughs> no, like, you can see why Zig ended up he here because yeah. of how much it's, like, 
you know, the Church of Saren Ray. Or like, but it's like it's not just the Church of Saren Ray. It's like the Church of the obscure followers of this one specific doctrine that Saren Ray didn't mention twice. Mm. You know, it's yeah, the like the second new original organic Church of Saren. The King James Bible. No, yeah, like it's, you know, it's all like offshoots of mainstream religion. And, it's the emo Phillips joke, basically. And like lots of religions that have cropped up around the, like the, pre-gap. Power generator that is like the city's built around, right? The gapologists, uh, the gapers. <laughs> <laughs> it would be more like, um, like I guess, worshiping the forerunners and shit like that, right? Um, the reasonable dif diffusion fathers and shit like that, right? The Dazanites is definitely one of them. Church of the Large Bastard. Um, yeah, so if you're like sort of saying out loud, uh, he'd go to the shiniest place, uh, you know, and I, I think like go would probably like, to represent the assisting role because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. role play. That's what I would uh, I would say something akin to like you know, uh, well he'd, he'd you know he'd be looking for his solar stuff. Um. Or maybe anything like the opposite of that. He's been in a bit of a kick about the eggs at the moment, so maybe he'd, he'd look for either something of his kind of... You know, I'm not a religion guy. I don't... I don't know how it's just going to like shrug at that as well. But he has his solar thing. And then there's void stuff. I love how, like, so, literally the tempered pilgrim is back, iron manning himself. Yep, yep. <laughs> Listen, I, I established this early on that Laiku is not really informed about religion. Mm -hmm. so, that makes sense. He yeah. is, in his own words, not a religion guy. Which is a really good bit of phrasing, I like that. Anyway, I'm proud of myself. Um, so I, I, I would probably sort of, you know, be directing the captain as he sort of, like, says, he'd go to X and go, yeah, he's... Um... So, I would nod. Um, journeying forth. Would nod. Yeah. Let's let's just go so, take a look. Mm -hmm, yeah. Maybe we can pop our heads into like anything. Do we see, do we see anything that looks particularly Zig's style? Um. Hmm. Hmm. It depends what you would think of the Zig style. So, like, either sun based or the opposite of sun based, based on his recent changes. Um, no, I, get, I don't think there is, to be honest. Like, the two of these aren't really aware of A, what Zig's actually going through inside, and B, you probably maybe sit and think, God, I wish I'd actually listened to half of the stuff he mentioned about the sun to have a better idea about where he might have gone here. Um, and you don't know enough about religions to like identify like the random offshoots of core religions to like really know anything instinctively here. So you are kind of just looking at a bunch of shops or like buildings or churches and like pop up places and thinking, where well, would you go? Goodbye. Um, um, yeah. Uh, hey, Cap, what's a Jesus? I knew a guy called Jesus. Uh, no, no a good officer. No <laughs> <laughs> He's a good officer, right? He was uh, a good officer. And I just look into the middle distance for a second. Funnily enough, there was like a story about a Jesus at one hour. <laughs> <laughs> so lightning <laughs> hits both that. of you. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning hits both of you for a forty ten each. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus comes down and says, "Oi!" No, he doesn't. Zeus comes Jesus. down and says, "Hey, hey, Zeus." 
Jesus. <laughs> hey, Zeus here. Hey, uh, Zeus, the boy. Hey, what's it going on? Hey. By the way, yes. I drop that and mm -hmm. then proceed to do something similarly inappropriate. No, I, uh, I will. Um... Are you going to give us that profession roll, by the way? Yeah, you know what? Let's roll the profession. I didn't do that earlier. You did I not. do it now. That's not a good roll. I don't like that at all. I, based on how you got on with Sparks, you're unlikely to want to speak to anybody else in the, al the alleyway kingdom. Yeah, um, no shit. But, obviously one of your go-tos for tracking people down is like, oh, chat to people, show them people I'm trying to find, get any intel you can, or surveillance that you can get your hands on, but you've got none of that just now, right? Yeah. So, yeah, your profession's kind of saying, go be professional. You've not done that yet, you've spoke to a random rubbish dealer. I mean, look, you've got to make your money somehow. Per I mean, the uh, thing is, it I was, the, judge. It was the perfect way of failing a, like, crit failing, especially a perception check, but getting a sense of motive where the guy was totally up for selling for information. It's just what you bought is literally rubbish. <laughs> uh... But he knew the vague directions I went in from the look of it. So yeah, right. Awesome. Like, it does to make sense fair, that he went this would way. Would we have got there ourselves anyway? Yes. Uh -huh. Was it funny to harass yeah. a speaker? Also, yes. So there you go. <laughs> uh, it's a total win. Um, and apparently Callum's favourite NPC. I will... <laughs> the best. I, I kind of liked him quite a lot. <laughs> as a as trip a trip random. Like, I mean. So, you go where, Lyco? Just, I just... I will make a split second decision to just like turn the spot and go into the first like church like structure I see. Right. Okay. Do this me a favour. Go you see well. Zig being crucified within. <laughs> uh, right, do me a favour. Let's see. 1, okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. D20! Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One second. Just let's see how this translates because this might be interesting. Might not be, but it might be. Right, okay, yeah. So, can you roll religion or whatever the equivalent of religion would be? Probably culture. If there was mysticism no religion. or culture, I assume. Well, no, mysticism is more of actually doing spooky stuff rather than knowing about spooky stuff. Oh, culture. With a considerably, considerable 30 and a 3. Yeah, so you recognise this one because of your time on Abalon, right? Christ. And possibly because of your time on Absalom. I... And weirdly, you think back to when you were wandering the streets of uh, Castrovara and you noticed like a church of this as well, and it's a uh, Yaresa, which is the Lady of Wisdom, who okay. teaches at, that the core of sentience is the search for knowledge and meaning, uh, the striving to advance one's society through education, experimentation, and learning. And yeah, she sounds more like Alex's cup of tea. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like you recognize, like you step in and you think, oh, this was weirdly convenient. Uh, also, she was the fourth in the line of a uh, when you rolled, so randomly rolled. But yeah, it seems perfectly. You would have spotted this place, right? Since yeah. you were from Avalon, so and you hated Avalon. Uh, um, I did. And you've been to everywhere but one of the places that the centres of worship are, which is Abalon, Absalom Station, Bretheda, and Castreval. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, so, uh, yeah. You, I, en like, you enter, ahead. and then, like, you're sprayed with incense as soon as you walk in, but obviously you're in, like, your suit. I am... Um, but you're still sprayed with incense as soon as you walk in. Like, cringe it. slightly. Just reflexively. And it's, like, automatic, like, almost like a shopping malls type metal detector type tag thing. But you walk in, it just covers your incense. Do I see anyone there? Yeah, the place is probably packed, right? Like, it's. People don't really have anywhere else to go. So, I think there's probably um, a whole bunch of, like, destitute androids as well in here, right? 
um, and various other races of, you know, nondescript. Do you see anyone who looks clerical? Uh, yes, there is somebody that is like at the like the, the far side of like the the makeshift church. Uh, seems to be uh, like again weirdly an old Ahsoka woman. Okay, mm -hmm. I think this is a good sign. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. This is it safe to lower my helmet in here? Uh, nobody is else in here enough? is wearing any kind of suits, and you don't see any kind of suits though. Either. I, I, you know, I'll lower my helmet so as not to look too conspicuous then. Yeah. Um. And then, like, she looks up, I narrows her eyes a bit, and she says, Join us! And I kind of, like, motions to, like, you know, you can see she's looking to have gestured to, like, an empty space, but then kind of just waves vaguely at the room. Because it's. I, I, I'll say to her, I, uh, Thank you. I'm afraid I'm looking for someone who is uh gone a bit lost. Uh, I was wondering if perhaps you might have seen him. This this is uh certainly a place he might be inclined to visit. He was um a couple of hours back he would have probably been around here. Also doing a silky, very enthusiastic, loud. Does that resemble anyone you've seen today? And she kind of looks and she kind of just shakes her head. I'm, I don't. I'm not the. Um. I don't. I look after the people who stay at night. And she kind of just nods. Okay, you wouldn't necessarily have seen anyone who came in a little earlier. You might want the... The administrator. She kind of just nods. Are they still around? She kind of like motions you closer. Past like the piles of people like clearly yeah, like, yeah. like sleeping on the, the floor and stuff. I'll follow her in. Yeah, you climb over all the people. Feels like a scene from Robocop somewhere. And they get to the back of the, the place and she's like, I'll just go see if he's still awake. Thank you. And she kind of like does that thing where she's like patting you into like a chair. <laughs> the one she was I, sitting. I'll, I'll go into the chair quite happily, yeah. yeah. And off she shuffles through the the door. And uh, yeah, she's maybe like away for five, ten minutes. What's Sora doing? Um, did you even come in, or did you just actually lose track of? Uh, no, I think I followed one. I probably followed one. I probably yeah. just oh, God, don't intimidate standing me. near the entrance. To be honest, I probably you, I'm not interacting. You've, pro you've probably been sprayed by and sensed three times now, and she's standing in the doorway. Okay, okay it creeps me out. Yeah, <laughs> don't like that. But uh, I'll just stay. Yep. Stay well away from the Angelicals is the safest thing to do. Yep. And uh, eventually she shuffles back on out. And she's like, He was sleeping, but I woke him up. And she just kind of looks at you like she's done something naughty. And then. Uh, oh, uh, thank you. He says he would hate to turn someone in need away. And she kind of just like pats you on the wrist and then just like shuffles to the side. I, you know, I'll smile somewhat, yeah, slightly confused, but I think I hide it pretty well. Just, uh, you know, a nice little smile at her and uh, head on to see you again. Yep, so you go through, and it's, um... Hmm. How to describe? There is a... Naked Sharon, putting okay. on a robe. And there is a Lashanta still in bed, pulling the covers <laughs> around himself. I am um, like rubbing his eyes because like the Shurin's like put on like a light source. Kind okay, of like you know a touch orb lamp thing as you sure. walk in, and it just starts like clicking at you as you walk in. Um, I will. Uh... It does up his robe. Quicker. <laughs> Apologize 
for the interruption. You know, avert my eyes, be polite. I, I, sorry, uh... It then uh, taps the side of its head and points to you. And, like, turns it, tilts its head as if it's asked you a question. Uh, Nazma Keklik would speak to you telepathically. Yeah. So, I, uh, I forgot about that, yeah. Um, you know what? I, I, I'll i go. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll yeah. like that. And then uh, you hear it in your voice, like you can feel it push through that obviously natural defense layer you have now. <laughs> I say natural loosely. And uh, neat. you hear like the, the Sharon kind of like come through in slightly more understood terms. And it says, You asked to speak to us? I did, yes. Uh, I take it through the administrator then? Me and my partner administrate this small. Church, to oh. Teresa. I I was hoping perhaps one of you then would have seen a friend of mine who may have passed through earlier. Uh, he's a young-ish, uh, very energetic Yosoki. I suspect this is perhaps a place he may have visited. New to Daza. Yes. Tourist like. By tourist like, do you mean loud? He, he can be loud. Yeah, obviously May I show you a picture of him? Please do. I, I, I think you hear the um, the Lushanta in the background. He, he speaks up and like he kind of stands up and pulls the covers around his waist. His antennas like twitch. And he says, What's wrong? Is there something wrong? And he, he's just speaking audibly. I, uh, apologies. I've been, uh, looking for a friend of mine. Um, it kind of like waves off your apologies it's as if, like, don't be worried, but he's obviously holding himself, his decency by the bedsheet. I don't, you know, I'll just, I'll show sort of between the two of them, like, an image of, of Seg on my, on my community screen. And then they both look at each other for, like, 30 seconds. Okay. And then the Lushanta looks at you and he says, May I? And he like touches his forehead and like, oh, like gestures to you. You know, I, I, you know again, maybe, maybe the minute amount of hesitation and then I'll nod my assent. Yeah, and he projects in your mind a vision of like Zig kind of like walking by and then, like, eating noodles and then collapsing in a crowd forming. Okay. Because obviously Zig just unhelmeted, yeah. etc. started eating noodles. And then and as he, like, collapses, you see the one face running, like, to his rescue through the crowd. And you get that very candid shot of Edgar Wesland leaning mm. over a uh, mm. Zig. So we cut from you. <laughs> no, nope. oh, we, we cut from you and we go to Zig, who starts to come to. <laughs> so you come to, and the uh, queen is standing over you, dabbing your forehead. Your maj Majesty. Don't try to sit up. You seem to be quite sick. <clears throat> I don't feel great. Was this an attack what? on you? Uh, I seen someone tried to take you away from me. Less than subtle scene. I was eating noodles, and then, and then I think at that point I would kind of realize the mistake he made in, in you know, taking off his thing and go, ah, oh. ah, oh. radiation, isn't it? <laughs> it seems you are sick, and she can like like presses her like hand against your like 
chest. You're out of your armor as well. And she says, in fact, can you roll perception for me? Yeah, by all means. Not only that, I'll do a really good job. Thank you. You did as well. Well done. Um, Yay. You notice that her like flawless looking skin isn't so flawless anymore. Um, half of her dress is covered in blood. And Edgar's body is lying at the side of the bed you're on. Uh, oh, lovely. What? What happens? And we cut there. So that's our session. <laughs> no, for <God's> sakes. <laughs> yeah. I to take note at this point, Alex. The suit is ready to wear. <laughs> yep. Just so you know. Yeah. So yeah, it seems like again that perception check you did primarily lets you know that she definitely seems to have been exposed to something. Mm -hmm. And Edgar's body lying face down, and the the blood pool from her to him is connected. To describe your very good perception roll. So yeah. That's where we end. What would you just like to call this one? Because there's probably lots of good suggestions now, because I feel like uh, what happened is a good one. Uh, what did um, I mean, obviously, I liked Paranoid Android. Yep, me too. It's yeah. Paranoid Android, that's a great Android. But, um, I also kind of liked uh, It's Bad for Your Health. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. Perfectly practical in every way. <laughs> Talking trash. Um, Made me smile. Talking trash. Uh, there's my my suggestions in chat. Feel free to volley your own. Um, What's in Jesus? <laughs> hey Zeus. No. Hey um, Zeus. I feel like. Don't don't make it be Sorry. I feel like Paranoid Android for me is a winner. Paranoid Android. That was excellent. You're no, completely oh, correct with that. Yeah. Yep. yep. Cool. I'm glad we're all in agreement. Uh, let us go talk about goals. So, no one else is gonna do it. Okay. Always believe in your soul. You're indestructible. Whoa. We'll test that. Yes. Always believe. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I mean, to be fair, right? He has survived being hit by God knows what levels of necrotic energy already. I say survivalist. Uh, I survived it by dying. Yes. Lucky. Right. Goals. Zora. Uh, my goal is not complete for now. Not yet, but do you have any ideas on it then, right? Like, do you feel like you are able to progress with the goal? Uh, I'll find the way. I'll, I'll get away. I'll go slumming it later on. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. Because I think that's what we should do when we have the wrap-up chat, is when we talk about the goals, is the goal feasible going forward as opposed to just leaving them in place? Uh, so yeah, if you think there's still avenues to pursue that goal, yep, we'll keep it. Yep. Is this a new goal you've got here for you and Alice, or you and the Queen? Uh, weird. <laughs> oh no, somebody has punked fi me. Fix, am <laughs> fix Amor. <laughs> um, that's Amore. That's Amore. If you can fix the actual goal to say what it should say, I'm uh, pretty sure that's uh, completed. I have done goal. Well done. Yeah, first goal of the new goal system. In fact, completed. Woo! I win. I win the game. It goes to the top of the list, remember? That's what I did. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, perfect. <laughs> good, good. Yep. Uh, um, we'll just insert a GQB cell. So, there we go. Um, so, yeah. I, do you have any thoughts on a replacement goal? Kill the Queen. Okay, right. Okay, yep, that's it. yep. I think at this point, right, is it not worth just having it like this? Like, I feel like that's more appropriate for every goal that we've had for a. Uh, yeah. For Weird and Nix 5. Um, uh, any thoughts, Emily? Because remember, the goals aren't like character or like specific. So, anything else you just want to start achieving in here? Um. I'm not 
neutral. Alright, now I'm not sure actually myself. I have changed my goal personally, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to just take my former goal. Okay. Uh, I will recover my zig. Okay. Interesting. I, uh, mm. I feel like also, I'm going to have to BRB, sorry. I, was, I feel like the Queen maybe has beat you to that. Maybe. I'm going to recover my zig from the Queen. I see. Um, you're going to fight her for her. Yeah. Uh, right, goal number three, gain an ally in CC and get the autography. <laughs> the autography. <laughs> the autography. <laughs> that happened yet. Nope, not yet. Are you still happy to pursue that as a team? Or are you wanting to change that? We can lose the ally part, we just need the autograph. Yeah, just, just get an autograph. Nobody's specific, just anybody's will do. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Uh, we'll, <laughs> s we'll skip Collins until he's back with us, uh, and we'll look at yours, Zig. Explore a possible connection between the solar and void. Yeegs. I still want to do that, however. <laughs> oh, yeegs, oh, jeez. Um, however? I don't know. I, I'm like... Yeah, right. I'm, 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 I'm trying to f figure out what I can... Like from this current immediate situation, mm -hmm. I think Zig has strong feelings, right? About whatever's gone down, it's just trying to come up with a goal that would, uh, or the right wording for a goal. Smog well, monster. Well, what it's are you probably th your dreams. <laughs> 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 what do you even say to that? <laughs> so, what do you do? Right, first of all, the goal that you've got slotted, right? Do you think you can make progress on that in your immediate future? Not right now, no. So why don't, we, we, some move major it, why don't we move it to the side then? Yes, with right. all my other... So we'll get rid of 100. all these god-awful possible future goal crimes. <gasps> right, and then let you dump it over at the side. That I shall. And then... What's the thoughts? What do you think is your immediate focus? Well, you just woke up. You've been told by the queen that you're uh, very sick inside, and then you focus and see that she seems to be like affected by something because she's definitely not unblemished, and then half mm -hmm. of half of her's covered in blood. And that trail of blood led you to the body that clearly looks like the back of Edgar Wesland. I need to decide if I'm like Queenie loyal or Edgar loyal at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's as you as if the Queenie killed Edgar, I'm gonna be like, oh no, Edgar. <laughs> but I quite like the Queen, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Edgar's had nods. <laughs> this is tricky. <laughs> I mean, I don't technically think Edgar has ever lied to you guys once, so... No. It's a nonce. <laughs> it's a nonce. By Vesk standards, maybe. Um. So how dare you. Rampant homophobia, Nico. What? <laughs> Rampant homophobia. Uh, but yeah, uh, MD, got any suggestions okay. for Callum then? Because remember, these are like goals open to everyone. It isn't just specifically him. Any thoughts? Um, I'm not so sure. Uh, mm, I could think of something really cheesy. To chance. Discover what happened to that. We just find out the first fucking line. I was just like, oh, hey, by the way, say, did you just I kill did, Edgar? I no, didn't say, say it was cheesy, right? I said it was really fucking cheesy. So, can you tell me why that's, <laughs> why that's not a good goal, though? Uh, because it's, like, really... I mean, I guess it's a decent goal. I just think it's maybe... Now, if you mean discover how Edgar got... Or discover what Edgar was doing on Akaton, that is a goal. Can you see why that's a goal and discover what happened to Edgar isn't? Because I... Visually yeah, told I you. I suppose Edgar's like Edgar being here isn't uh, 
a coinkadink. Mm. You know, so I guess the fact that he was here is probably. That just depends what's important to Zig. Do you know what I mean? What's important to Zig is the fact that uh, someone who he's been through a, a reasonable amount of shit is maybe dead or certainly broken. Mm. And it might have been someone who he's actually quite fond of doing. Freezing. Yeah. I don't know. It's up to you how you want to pursue. You pick something to pursue that you think you can achieve. I mean, it doesn't need to be achieved in one session. It can take a couple, right? But you tell me what Zig wants to focus on while in the city of Daza on Akaton. While separated from pretty much his entire crew again. <sighs> yeah, just go, don't go out near any puddles right now. Right, okay. Especially I think, I think I'm stipulation. reasonably safe in Daza. I think that's that's okay. <laughs> Bonds are also out of this question, by the way. <laughs> Bonds, no, no. Um, well, what what about just um, kind of find out what um the reasons for Edgar's reappearance on, or um. had an or but I can't remember what the or is. So no. I can't remember, I can't I can't phrase it. Don't worry, tell me the want... tell me the end goal and I'll help you phrase it to start with it. The end of all goals. Yes. We're just saying to obviously Callum's I guess moving we... his goal about, oh, so if you've got any ideas for him, Colin, uh, now would be the time to help him. Are you thinking of something that's a bit more direct, a bit more actionable? A bit more immediate, yeah. A bit more yeah. immediate, yeah yeah. Because um, I feel like well, the Void and Solar Eggs are maybe slightly on the back burner based on his current situation. How about trying to figure out what the fuck happened to Edgar? So, we spoke <laughs> about how... Too, I was going to say, that was Zora's suggestion, and I said, the reason that's a bad goal is because I've basically told him, visually, what happened to Edgar. Well, I, I, think, think, I think maybe, maybe in the broader sense that, like, if, if Edgar's here, it means... Either he's here because Tamani wants him to be here, or he's here because there was something happened between him and Tamani. So maybe. Okay, I mean, yeah, what I was thinking, and I'm not just saying this, you also to, to Ryan, like, as far as um, what I meant, what happened to. Well, I have to assume that whatever. Sorry. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> ah, whatever uh, Wesleyan does is not human, right? You can assume that, yeah. That's valid. Well, he seems to be sitting around like a perfectly normal human corpse, which is interesting when you're a fucking cloud rainbow monster. Mm -hmm. uh, you would think he would be more not like that mm -hmm. than like that. Uh, and that leads me to wonder, is he actually dead? Is this actually Edgar? We have encountered someone who Edgar claims was not him who didn't appear to be a flesh and blood person, but what if they were? Right? What if there was no Hedger? What if that was an external entity who was simply able to hide its existence from other people? Mm -hmm. So we, mm -hmm. for all we know, that could be Hedger. We don't actually know. We know it appears to be um, Edgar, but we don't know that it is Ed. Right? So establish... How about establish what the fuck happened with Edgar? Gonna like narrow down the. Yeah, that's maybe a bit broad. Yep, it's a bit too broad. Anyway, to narrow that down into something that's actually like you can roll on it. <laughs> um. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's not a it's not a bad angle. Also. But I think a lot of it is really kind of tied to Callum's idea of trying to work out what he was up to here in the first place. Really. Yeah. A lot of it does seem to hinge on that part because it's like, well, if he, if there is a trail of him here, then he wasn't hiding that he was here. But if there is no trail of him being here, then maybe there is some head jank on the go. Yeah. Right. Mm. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So if you maybe were to phrase it as something like, uh, 
uncover Edgar's mm, actions or mission on Akaton or something like that. Because like, I mean, as a group go, that might still not sound the Ziggy's thing possible. I was gonna say, Zig's yeah, interested like, in it. Well, Zig's bringing it to the table essentially, right? Yeah. So yeah. find out what Edgar's reason, or uh, yeah, find out why Edgar was on Akaton. His purpose for being here. Um, why was Edgar on Akaton? It's probably the simplest way to phrase that. Yes. I'll just write that. Whims. Yeah, like find out why Edgar was on Akaton. Or just why? <laughs> why must? Uh, right, we'll go back to your goal just now. Goal number four. Yes, lettuce. So yes, I, I changed it earlier. Mm -hmm. So it's now go speak uh, Ramasethu and con about contacting Kubo. So what I think uh, we could do is next session we can probably knock that one off if we're able to recover Zeg. Um, but it may not be next session, maybe a couple of sessions down the line, but I think the reason I went to this is because it's more immediately doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, rather than a vague thing about oh. basically, <laughs> nice. Um, and Ramasetta did contact you since you're at orbit, right? Yes. So and, we and have a reason, we have impetus, right, mm -hmm. for that one. So we get impetus to go and seek out her, whereas with the, what are we doing next, that's a bit too open, and it's certainly something worth doing. Mm -hmm. But once we sort of set ourselves up and got what we need here, maybe we can look at that again. Yeah, I think that's valid, yeah. So I'm glad. I think the focusing around my set. Well, at goal three, we all spoke about it briefly when you vanished. But uh, gain ally and CC and get autography. So, you happy with or wanting to reword? Um, <laughs> I think it's pronounced autograph. <laughs> just autograph. <laughs> I was just about to say, <laughs> going by how this has gone on. <laughs> that can be the session name, Auto Grief. <laughs> That's just the title of the campaign, Grief. Um, but yeah. Sad. <laughs> Sad. There we go. What are the, uh, the thoughts on goal three? Because you haven't made contact with CC yet, uh, you haven't reached out to Ramasetu yet. Uh, both of which could be attempted, I guess, because keep in mind that getting to Ramasetu seems to be like it might be quite dangerous. Um, yeah. But the then. Contact on the ship the, as well, I suppose, could be a goal. Yeah. To actually, get contact. I mean, if you want to be brave, I think, I think, you could put that as your goal is a uh, contact the final hour, contact uh, CC, and contact Ramasetu as a triple. Requirement goal. Um, I'm going to be <laughs> not so brave and not do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think the, the, it would be better to contact the ship before contacting either party. It'd okay. be nice to know that we have a. Mm, we have it's a true. Ship to actually What's get away. I mean, you do right. You've just... got the Azure Flare. You have yeah. a ship. Yeah, but I've got like a how like. 2,000 flares on that ship. <laughs> yeah, that's no, true. It's and not on the fine lower. It's not on that ship. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's in the planet. You probably have a decent amount of ship flares on it. I can imagine there's probably flares on the military ship. It's pretty well kitted. You don't so. buy flares. Maybe no 2,000 <laughs> flares, though. Maybe no quite 2,000 flares. Oh, well, no, because you spent 10,000 on them, wasn't it? How much did they cost? Um, five each. Oh, five. 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 So 2,000, yeah. Yeah. But what we mean is they won't be on the fine lower. They would have either been on the eleventh hour yeah. and oh, moved no, to Carhole. So what we need to do is gather all of them and use them as a big distraction. Feed them all to Ivan and send Ivan in like Rambo. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> that's actually good. He said the no because he wouldn't spit them out on fire. No. Ah, but he might spit out other useful things. Yeah. I would just spit grenades. Hard hats. <laughs> Hard hats. Uh, Flooding the enemy. Right, so we've got discover why Edgar is slash was on Akaton, or if he even was. Yeah, that seems valid, yeah. And then we've got gain an ally and CC and get autography. So are we rewording that to something else? Uh, we uh, could call it an autograph. No. <laughs> are we maybe focusing that I on, think like, maybe make, like, make contact with the ship? I think getting in contact with the ship. Um, in contact with the ship. Because, like... 
because I feel like we'd we'd I'd, or we I personally would like to do type that. it in, get, like... get it coloured, yeah. Unless sorry, you had more input there. Sorry. No, I mean I feel like we're probably going to get the other two things that you said done at that time anyway. But like, no, well, maybe just stick them all in then. I'm like, I'm, I have no objections to. Ah, but then if we don't day off three and we decide against it, then that goal doesn't get complete. Uh, well, the thing, is, <laughs> the thing is, so Colin's got one well, of the goals yeah. that are sat at Go Speak with Ramasetu, so the other one could just be make contact yeah. with CC and the final over. Right? Yeah. That's, so, that's a decent way to divvy it up. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah, CC's the place where we get in touch with the final over is probably the same sort of place we'd like to get in touch with CC. I mean, so, they could just use the ship's comms for CC, really. When you got into orbit, yeah, uh, we could have, but uh, if... well, so likely just has to connect himself up to like a, a message board and hint that he needs CC. So, yeah, it's probably not hard. No, I mean you've been given contact details, and whoever oh. suggested that goal can color their color, which I think was me. So I guess it stays My white. My color is sadness. Yep, color is sadness. Uh, right. I uh, how many how many goals are we just now? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, three more goals to get to level nine, guys. And you might be able to do one, two, three, four, five. If you just do a lot of a lot of groundwork next time, you just might actually be able to complete five goals. Like those are all quite tightly related. Mm. Right. Six so just needs to find his way back really quickly, we'll punt fucking Lyco away to go find Ramasafu, and then the rest of us will go get the ship done. No one's asleep. <laughs> he said away. Punt me away. Alright, punt me away, okay. <laughs> uh, away, <laughs> not awake. <laughs> punt him awake. So, just for the summary, we've got find suitable source of income while in Akaton, recover my zig, get in touch with mm -hmm. friend Lauer and CC, go speak to Ramasafu about contact and also about Bob. Uh, yes. discover why Edgar is slash was on Akaton if he even was I think that's quite a good set of goals and as I said if there's a lot of ground covered if not all next time maybe the next two sessions that could be five more goals then which is crazy real crazy and we could then be uh, level uh, 100 yeah sure why not which is also translated loosely to level 9 but yeah um, we'll we'll see how that goes. Do you know what? Yeah. Level nine is level one hundred for me. Okay, I'll we'll take my call. Yeah, I was level using one hundred system. No, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense if it were true. No, it does not. But on that note, though, let us start with Zora. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hey. Thank you. It was uh, Good to see Lyco, uh, Danny's investigative thing, and uh, hold me back, you know, make it hold back. We had a good team, Cap, we had a good team. You uh, just needlessly was... terrified them, but it was great fun. Uh, I mean, why not, right? I was just like... Or a poor tweaker? tweakers. It ruffled my, my scales, I guess. Like, I, I, you know what, honestly, I just, I feel like you smelled weakness, and, and that's okay. Uh, that poor Android. I did spell weakness, and I think that it was a very you're useless. You're useless. <laughs> I don't respect us. Go away. Useable garbage. Uh, I, I like the the conversation between you know, just to be catch up, be short catch up in second. Like, like before it, it got really actively roofied. Oh, yeah. That would be another great session title. I love, how, I love yeah. how you say, like, he didn't make him take his helmet off. Ah, <laughs> he, was probably he just bought me noodles! Ingenious methods. It was actually a wonderful piece of uh, yeah. psychology. He simply gave him noodles, delicious noodles, and thereby yeah. induced, as I oh. swear before God and the <laughs> law, uh, him to take off his helmet and get the radiation. Can I ask? Did probably radioactive. Yeah. Did MD else work out why he was so twitchy? Out of interest. Uh, Edgar. Edgar. Uh, I don't want to say that. Because he was up to something. 
I mean, that's a given, but he's never been twitchy because of that. <laughs> Is it the drugs? I mean, how many drugs? All of those trash bags, right? <laughs> the radiation making him twitchy? I don't know, nah. right? Uh, Emma always oh here. yeah, yeah, that's right, right, that's right. He was like a fucking radiation absorbing fucking menace, yeah. man. He was probably well fucking OD oh, right at that yeah. moment. Like he was like, I guess, yeah. uh, he was probably high, no OD. The, 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 the light and the. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's a, like, kind of like Zan from Farscape. Uh, yeah. So. Yep. So Good reference. I think we favorite character. A character. <laughs> uh, Best character. Oh. Found it. But your thing is, your goal is, <laughs> it was there for a fix. <laughs> I think we just found out what your goal is. <laughs> wow. So, that if, if, if he was more dressed up than normal, he would surely be more dangerous than normal, presumably, and therefore, presumably, the, uh, the Queen has overcome his full power. Or maybe not, maybe it wasn't even him, maybe it's a lookalike. The Queen is now Edgar. That's I look it. like it happened to also be called Edgar and mistook Zeg for The Queen is Edgar. Maybe he was getting hunted and he was dressing himself Queen up Emma. to fight. Yeah. But I then, can see that. I can uh, see that. And then he Maybe the Queen is MO. Maybe MO <laughs> 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 Um, this 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 seems to be the right. Let him finish. You're right yep. here. Maybe M O. Maybe M O O is guns. <laughs> Old man guns. <laughs> yeah, why not? I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to have ideas, but they weren't. I'm loving this click like, conspiracy creek chat right now. It's yeah, so uh, good. I'm pretty sure it made us like bang on. It's an M O. And there are almost five letters in guns. <laughs> Coincidence? Oh. So. Because I don't believe in coincidence. So. Zora. Yes. Anything else yeah. you want to add? No, 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 no. I feel like that's good. There's a lot of investi like investigations in way to add them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. Lyco, Colin, Colin, Lyco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I. Why? Well, fuck Bob. I, I enjoyed. Bob. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what? I actually mentioned that first. I I enjoyed a little bit with Bob, where he was sort of flexing his brain muscles and and showing that he was a little bit more informed and a little bit more on the ball than we might perhaps have thought. Mm -hmm. So that was very, very okay. good. Thank you. Um, what was the tweet called again? Sparks. <laughs> Sparks, yes. Sparks the tweet that I enjoyed. I enjoyed Sparks. Uh, Thanks. I actually had fun he, playing Sparks. He was quite fun to be for a change. He was a nice little less threatening uh, sort of Ryan NPC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he was definitely still a bit off and a little uncomfortable to deal with. And that's yep. fine. Yeah. Um, I to punch but yeah, no, he was, he was certainly he was certainly interesting. Uh, and yeah, I, I enjoyed also using my, my character sort of skills. Yeah, your actual background for doing this type of shit. Yeah. Yes, and to go ahead and sort of like. And also the fact that we did it together, there was a bit of teamwork there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, thought, I thought that was just like a good little good little exercise for the team, sort of getting out, doing their thing, showing the sort of thing that they could do uh, maybe on different jobs when they weren't together as a full team, because we don't generally do too much of that as a group. Um, so that was pretty awesome, getting to do a bit of like that. Yeah, imagine that. like 48 sessions in and you realise it's fun to play together. Like, imagine that. <laughs> Which is why next time I'll have to go to a place that everyone else would die. Um, <laughs> very important that I do this. Yeah. Um, it actually is, I know. I know. Um, so yeah, I, I, that was good fun. Um, I felt terribly for poor Alex, stuck. Or his character was stuck. 
and metaphorically and possibly also literally because the law, um, he was presumably also stuck. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that was uh, an annoying situation where she fucked around and then just ran away. And that suggests to me that either she deliberately fucked around just to annoy him, which I don't think she did, annoying as she can be, particularly to him, I don't think that was just a deliberate act of fucking about. I think she had some reason to be concerned for a sec. I don't know, I feel like she knew somehow, mm. which is interesting, because it does make one suspicious. Mm. Uh, so I enjoyed that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, like 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 the like sparks, like the cat and scaring the shit out. <laughs> just picking them up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for <me>. Ah! <laughs> yeah, just instantly <laughs> screamed. Ah! <laughs> yep, yep. That's uh, the yeah, sparks. So all, all round, just uh, positive vibes, goodwill, poor Zig. Uh, I'm sure that was probably quite a fun little, uh, fun little end uh, for for you know, Callum Lear games. My God. Waking up with the fucking queen. And I'm sorry I'm yawning again, but it's after mm -hmm. any time, so I'm tired. Very, um, dare you. So yeah, I, I, I was, I was quite. I thought, I thought that was a, a good little serving of Jesus Christ and oh God and oh. Mm -hmm. and Those also, are my thoughts. Also, just a wee bit more about the um, like state of affairs in Daza as well, with like how many people seem crammed into spaces and. Like true, we got a better feel for it. I think this session. Yeah, like you can see that people in less, like more exploitative roles, such as Bob, seem to be doing pretty well for themselves in their nice offices, and with their fancy tech that's all built in. Versus people like and like, their slot buckets, like the the gay couple that run the the church, um, the kind of weird gay telepaths. So, yeah, it's a bit. Like they're doing their best to like shelter people, I guess, from the fact yeah. that like not a lot of people have homes here or shielding from radiation. Do you know what I mean? Which obviously people are kind of half of them are happy to get mutated and the other half aren't. So, yeah, it's lovely. Um, Alex and weird. Um, yeah, the complete mess up with the queen. That's always fun having conversations with her. I enjoyed the chat she's had though because it was like you were warming up to each other in a way, which I liked. Yeah, and then she fucked me over. Yeah, like royally. No pun intended. Yeah. Hey! Um, was she doing it so you couldn't pursue? Oh. But then, as well, like she definitely did. So, she, she did seem. <laughs> but the thing, is, right, the thing is, she might have, right? Um, <laughs> more conspiracy. But then I she, mean... she seemed off though, right? That even. That's my entire assumption. Her entire like process, though, when speaking to you, wasn't her normal. But is that because she's learning to adapt to you, because of the previous conversation, or is it because is something affecting her, or was she just waiting to mess with you? Like, was this like her long game? Because she's clearly got patience. We know that. Um, she's had to learn that. So yeah, it's strange. Very strange. And also, why did she just choose to run off after Zig specifically, like sporadically? Um, I think uh, the timing's very weird, yeah. Plus, she... On another note as well, I'm actually surprised that Weird didn't just fly the shuttle through the city streets, or cram <laughs> it through, like, just scraping it through, being like, well, I guess I'll get there somehow. <laughs> um, uh, I think this is part of his trusting Zig, and mm -hmm. also, he's now taking his leisurely time to spite the Queen. Yeah, like, I think that valid as well, because you did say right at the start, like, not this session, but the previous one, the, uh, yeah. like, he can handle himself. Right to her. Yeah. Um, I thought like she just completely ignored that. The, well, the thing is, we get that shot of Zig just opening his helmet and feeding himself <laughs> noodles. There is, yeah. <laughs> like big Zig radiation is, warning well, signs everywhere. Weird is going to reevaluate his position. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get to that, right? You can still have faith in him for now. Um, I mean, that was beautifully stupid, especially for someone who you know regularly irradiates perfectly <laughs> yeah. innocent people. Yeah. No, no, I wouldn't go so far <laughs> regularly. That's people. not fair. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was very, very fun. Yeah, there was that. there was parts of it where I was like, I felt bad, see, like when you're you're diving up time as a GM between scenes and I'm like, there's so little I can do with you that isn't me telling you the shuttle follows them. Right? Like no. there was so little I could do at that point, but I'm like, it will you can't just 
tape your suits together, sadly, because they're intricate. So that's why I'm like, I'll go back to you at some point and say, do you want to cut corners? And you're like, nope. I'm like, that's fine. I gave you the chance. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am not. It's, yeah, let's... Uh... Especially now that weird is similar to Nick's in his methodical approach. It makes sense, though. Start a job and commit to it, right? It, it does make yeah. sense. Um, but yeah, Typically if I have to go out there and fight a drow queen. <laughs> I went half-assing it. Get away from him, you queen. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can see that happen. Um, <laughs> it's your ridiculous exosuit that is just oh. you armoured. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, because you still count as large, right, when you're in this? So, uh, yes, it is a large suit. Ridiculous, because I forget that Alice has the same model, obviously, the two-armed version. Like, I forgot it was a large base. Yeah, okay. Enjoy it's putting that in the map. Large. large. Um, sorry, what was that, Alex? <laughs> I was just saying, I'd, I'm going to enjoy putting that to good use. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's nice to be like, like have just skipped the part where Zora, she's like, I'll just buy you it, it's fine. I'll just get you the suit, because at least that way you have it, and we'll deal with all the discounts and like, I was like, but no, he's like, let us work with the guy and get money, and then in Zora's head, I'm assuming yep. Zora was just like, let's get the crew operational, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty yeah. Much. Yeah, which, it does make sense. Chop this along, chop this along, get his armor, yes, mm -hmm. chop, chop. Which I thought was quite a good captain decision to do. Like, it was a case of don't take Lyco's recommendation about getting the cheapest deal, get everybody operational first because we're already someone down. Captain's captain's right, you know, I respect well. that. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's no uh, system. I was captain. like, I want gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree there, Alex. It was nice to see a bit of captaining there and also the, I'd say, the, the duel of them, like good cop, bad cop, ex cop, right? Yep. Um, I really enjoyed the drug dealing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I, I can call him a drug dealer officially. It was like <laughs> totally thinking of a drug dealer. I, I feel like he feels like he's a drug dealer. Yeah, but actually, he's a garbage bag. Yeah, and like, I mean, isn't every drug dealer? And they... I mean, in this day and age, <laughs> oh, no, some drugs are very good. <laughs> Which ones are we shouting out for today? Yeah, what we're we getting like our pharmaceutical big pharma sponsors uh, on the go. You yeah. know, uh, pot. There you go. Uh, pot's all right. Yep. We're going to get a big pharma sponsor for pop, but okay. What about acid? Never tried, don't want to. <laughs> Sorry, are you resistant to acid, or is that just fire? <laughs> He's gone. He's dead. Rip. I'm so sorry. Wow. Yeah. Bye, goodbye, bye, my captain. Bye, 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 bye my best. Oh, oh, what about me? I'm yeah. resistant to fire and soon to be. So not acid. <laughs> But fire and then soon to be anything that has any fire or gold. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there a Alex? Uh, probably. Yeah. Uh, Good. Other than that, I, I just love Zig. I'm sorry if you, you, you radiated yourself. <laughs> yeah. As, <laughs> Karma. It's a, a good fucking idea. It's a good sound sense. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. Um, if it makes you feel any better, uh, Callum. I only thought of it when I made you roll, so I'm just going to tell you that now. I only realised that there and then. Just going to give you that openly. I'm like, oh, he'd have to have opened his suit to eat those noodles. He's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's fair though, like because I feel like it's it's just such like a, a thing you wouldn't think about, you know? All oh, right, well here's food. I can completely buy that thousands die every year doing that. Like that is 100 <laughs> percent a thing. That um, if this were a real place, that would yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. Especially, especially if they're not from that place and they don't have to deal with it every day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, hundred percent. And I feel like he would definitely, you know, be like fully kitted out quite more often now. Um, so he's used to just like taking his helmet off to eat. Mm -hmm. and he goes, ah, food, boof, there you go. Plus, I think seeing um, Edgar sat there like without any protection and the people around you not wearing like protective gear for the most part right some people do but yeah. for the most part the people that look shantytown live here or like have actually taken themselves on a pilgrimage here don't wear stuff like that um mm -hmm. so yeah I, I think that yeah it's it's not like oh man how could you possibly have forgotten that just because you didn't roll well it makes perfect sense so instead of segueing i'll just say so callum your thoughts uh, i really 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 enjoyed um i'm i'm do you know what i'm really enjoying weirds sort of snarkiness um and <laughs> his, his 
his, his newfound it. wit. I just started um, thinking, what have I done to piss off Alex in the past? That <laughs> meant like he's just felt like being passive aggressive to me as his GM now. To, like, Wait for him to mind link with you, yeah. and then all these things that you thought were just like complimentary. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> no, fine. I'm I'm just I'm just really enjoying Never. Weird's progression. Um, it's, it's, good. it's it's just fantastic, and I think the Queen's. Um, kind of facilitating that really well as <laughs> yeah, because it's oh, yeah. giving him other fantastic. I'd say it's good. <laughs> it's the <laughs> I think it's because the queen provides like a sounding board for like somebody that would easily choose to take offence, whereas the crew wouldn't necessarily. Um, which is quite fun uh, to see like weirds new personality kind of traits shine a bit more. Um, and again, a lot of that's probably off the back of what. Next five experienced when speaking to Query. Um, <coughs> and like, this is the path I don't want to walk down, quite frankly. Um, mm-hmm. I think he's just a somewhat pricklier person than a lot of the crew. I don't say that necessarily as a negative thing. I'm a prickly person IRL. Some people just are. Um, like, he doesn't necessarily let things roll off from the way you like or cap do, or, you know, just internally torture himself the way uh, Sig does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He sort of oh, you're snarking at me. Well, <laughs> I too have snark. Um, yeah. Snark mode activate. Um, snark. SS snark. Snark. Um. Obviously, obviously, sparks. Um. Sparky sparks. <laughs> sparks. Yeah. Um. Sparks. Sparky sparks. Oh, sparky sparks. <laughs> that android should be played um, by Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Berg. <laughs> Berg. Uh, it was... <laughs> Berg. It's fantastic, and I, I did, I enjoyed, um, um, the like Lyco chatting to Q Bob and the Captain, kind of Wait. just trying to push things along. I just like Zora's like more. rampant insult to Q Bob, and he's like, uh, yeah. "Sorry, what? Wait, was there a fucking rampant insult? It was a." Uh, <laughs> Uh, You're a big noticeable <laughs> guy. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. What I did like was um, Lyco kind of saying to the captain, "Here, I'll go back. You you stay. I'll go back." <laughs> um, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Colin would be able to say, "Would would would, would Lyco have like been like very like that in the past, or would you be more always the captain's?" being the captain just kind of will move on and... well when you say the past do you mean in his past life literally uh no no with um just like in the sort of time period with the, the crew as as you maybe less like maybe maybe yeah, not I th- I think recently with, I think but like in Cap, he is he is generally quite like that like he's deferential but he doesn't he's not like he necessarily completely just Puts up with anything the captain does. Like I, I, mm. I think he's he's not a pushover. Like he does tend to let the cat make decisions because he is the captain. I was right? going to say, he, doesn't he a lot of this come from the fact that you've been used to taking orders from the stewards? Like yes. you know about hierarchy. You've you but, know the chain of command, etc. And... Well, exactly. As a steward, he would fall it more strenuously because you would have to. Like mm-hmm. if you were going to do something like that, you would have to probably for you know depending on the officer you're dealing with, you might have to make your commander feel like it was their idea to send you back yes. in or what have you it probably wouldn't be as smooth as just yeah i think you kind of scared him a bit there i'm just going to go back he fe- it's, a, it's a lot less formal and he feels a mm-hmm. lot less restricted by the captain but that's not to say like that there are restrictions different oh fuck off i'm constantly getting presumably some service has sold my phone number because i'm constantly getting spam calls from countries that don't fucking exist like new <laughs> Benzalia. That's not true. Uh, but just weird numbers. Um, but yeah, no, he, he definitely is a little. Certainly, it wouldn't have been immediate and it's, it will have happened over time, but it's not a recent development either. Mm. Like, this, this is just something that's developed over the course of his being in this crew. Yeah, I think it makes sense that you've got like way more leeway with Zora than you ever would have with the stewards, but at the same time, it's because. I guess the VESC method is go achieve the thing mm-hmm. or you probably don't come back because you're dead. I suspect there are probably times, like uh, nothing's really come up yet, but there are probably times where 
because the stewards are, are they're also very mission oriented, but they're in a, in a different way where it's like, we have to do this. And like, money isn't an object, there is no benefit for us in doing this, but we have to because if we don't, X is going to end up causing problems and potentially cause a war with Y. Um, and stuff like that, where we're pretty much oriented towards get out of whatever bad situation is throwing itself at us and make some money. So, I definitely think there are times where the cap will go, no, you know, no, we're not doing that, where he would be able to do it in stewards. Um, Although I definitely think it leans very much, it's like a 70, no, not even a 70-30, it'll be like an 80-20 split of like, yeah, the captain will be a lot looser than the stewards will, stewards will the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. But maybe sometimes the profit motive, for instance, creeps in and you can't be wasteful when you're running a private enterprise like that because the cap needs to be able to pay for the ship, etc, etc. Whereas the stewards are kind of in a position where it's like, if it's an important mission, it costs what it costs. Yeah. Like you've got an operations budget. Yeah. But that makes sense, though. And I think um, in terms of like the crew as well, like you definitely do have a dynamic where Zora just expects people to be able to do what they say they can do. Right? Like I don't imagine Zora's got much thought beyond that other than just, cool, we're in a crew, we do what we need to do. Uh, if you can't do it, we go find somebody that can do it and then ask them to do it. I Done. feel like it's the best, I feel like it'd be the best way, but other than like maybe if you can't, yeah, I'd probably shoot you in the heat if it was like the actual Vesk army, you know, mm. like, and then. Yeah, give me something that I actually can. <laughs> I don't, as oh I said, yeah, God. I don't imagine many Maybe of them come. Heat, but just dismissed, probably shamed. Like. like I say, yeah, I think it's a big deal for a vest to come back as a failure, right? So, yeah. like, I don't think many come back, they either exile themselves or have died in the attempt to succeed. Um, probably most of the vest are cutting up the actual. Yeah, like, uh, they're probably all exiles, right? The rest well, of the pack was stuff that are mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd probably get good money for a Vesk mark. To be fair, um, I have to think that a lot of them probably are. You know, if if they do feel like, oh no, I failed, I'm shamed, they're probably willing to, you know, toss their life away in service of Viscarium so that they're at least remembered as having sacrificed themselves for it. Yeah. So it's like, yes, I may have failed in the mission X Y, which cost us, but you know, I also threw myself onto the grenade and thereby saved, you know... Yeah, didn't shame the, the boot. Yeah. destroying hand, or whoever mm -hmm. he is. Yeah. Uh, Cal, anything else you want to add to that? Because we all did segue yeah, quite I a bit. That's, I think that's pretty much everything that happened, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, because we started with what... Uh, you and Edgar having a wee chat, and then problems, and then the cube bob scene, and then some maintenance, and dissembling of relationships between the Queen and Weird. And uh, yeah, I think overall that was pretty much it, really. So, like summarising in the bloody bedroom scene. Um, I mean, maybe maybe she didn't kill him. Maybe she just banged him. Also, I need to find out where I am. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, Chaz taken you out of your suit, right? Or, or somebody has. Yes. Yes. Which my com is attached to. But I guess on that note then, uh, thanks everybody for playing. That was actually kind of fun. That was really fun. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for running. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for tolerating us. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine that. Um, I will catch everyone in the future. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.